glad we're live. Damn, Twitch, what's up with that? Being all quick? Damn, Twitch, you scary. Twitch, you're too fast, man. What happened to the good old days, Jordan? Papa, the old days when we had like 45 <laughs> seconds to like a minute and a half to like bring something. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that? Like we, we could genuinely, I, like something could cock up thoroughly. We'd work out a solution, implement the solution. And by the time the stream delay hit, well, I guess it's already fixed, guys. It's like the seven minutes of hell with the Mars launch, right? Like... Oh, uh, dude. That, yeah, but by, by the time you fu you you uh, see the fuck up, it happened like seven minutes ago. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like, yeah, you, you get to deal with that. Like, the, what is it? Like the 15 minutes of uh, terror. Light and the light. Yeah. Like yeah. when they were dropping the probe that like, came down like ah, atmosphere. You know what? It, it's going to like hover <laughs> in air, then drop it down. And it's going to. I can well, deal with I, that. Man. I, I, I love the timing of it. It's like. By the time we got the confirmation that it hit the atmosphere, it could very well have already crashed. Yeah, it's, it's just playing around, man, doing all that thing. Hey, beautiful people, what's going on? We're getting ready for another Linux Gamecast Weekly. That's right, episode 425. It's going to be all over your face, right into your eye sockets. Kind of a chonky show this week. We got a lot of stuff to cover. One thing we're not going to be covering, just because uh, we just didn't have room to fit it in, it's all that new AMD awesome sauce, man. I know, Jordan, you are super excited about that, considering Mer you just dropped about a grand on some AMD hotness. Yep. <laughs> did you buy the X570 motherboard? I did. Yeah. Then you'll be okay for the next two generations if you decide to update that. <laughs> I don't think I will, but like, I'm. It, it's nice to have the option. Unless they're like, oh yeah, no, 64 core, 128 thread, yeah, just go fuck yourself. 500 <laughs> bucks, go have fun. Dude, okay, well, look, listen, Jordan took all the arrows. Because yep. the 1080 Ti, <laughs> that everything is faster than, they're like $300 now. Yeah. And, um, but, I mean, with, with AM4 socket, we were talking about that last night. Um, if you're on socket AM4, unless you have, like, the most bare bones uh, what what is like the a whatever Pedro knows these things you buy the budget AMD stuff <laughs> I don't I don't understand such peasantry with my thread ripper uh, the uh, I don't think there was a budget thread ripper option <laughs> I know I'm talking from that castle Pedro I'm talking I'm trying to communicate with you down there. Like, I can't <laughs> hear you over the coil line from 24 threads. Yeah, A320 is the one you're thinking of. See, sometimes you can't tell if Patriot's playing stupid, or... <laughs> it's easy, because if I play stupid all the time, then people will just assume that I am stupid, so if I do something stupid, it's okay, people are already expecting it. You see, <laughs> Pedro watched Dragon Ball Z as a kid. He's growing up, and he's like, oh man, so you hide your power level. Alright, I'll hide my, <laughs> my brain level. This, this isn't even my final stupid. Right. I set the bar really low, that therefore people don't expect much from me. <laughs> Oh, man. Except at work, apparently. <laughs> but, you know what? If you were just looking for, like, okay, what what is it? The 90... I gotta learn all the new names. Uh, the 9550? Or... The 5950X. 5950X. Yeah. <laughs> you can put that into, like, the current gen, like, budget board, though. You just can't do the overclocking. Sure. Yes. Yeah, you like can do it on the B450? Mm-hmm. <laughs> B450, X470, B550, and X570. Also, I need to throw some love out to, um, what's what's the name of the kid that does uh, L LGR, Lazy Game Reviews? Clint. Clint? Clint, I watched you build the triangle PC, okay? I watched that. <laughs> you, you played around with Linux, good on you. You don't have to get, like, weird bizarro moon boards for your PCI slots, even, like, two of them. Ryzen, Tomahawk, <laughs> B350, like under the desk here, two of them. PCI slots for days, baby. And you could have went with an APU. Also, uh, the, he wanted the uh, serial. The LPT was optional, but that was an option on his board, so he went with <laughs> I got, I got lots of line printers <laughs> I gotta configure. 
you can add that card. They, I guarantee you. They, come on, chat. Do they? They have to make a PCIe. <laughs> oh, of course. LPT. Oh. Like, <laughs> I think it has both LPT and serial. <laughs> Because why I've not, seen. right? Like There's <laughs> other conductors that you, you've seen, but you don't know for sure. They're like, yeah, this card has got them all on it. There you it's, go. It's, it's, it's got a VGA and a game port too. Yeah, game port, like a, right? Because like, why not? Yeah. Because why? Why not? If you're if you're gonna buy this card, this is all the ports that your old computer had that your new one doesn't. <laughs> oh man, you had to put it in EPP mode, man, to use your scanner. That's how I scanners think, used to work. Oh, also, you were the, a Logitech Quick Cam VC. You had to. I think the first scanner I had was like a USB one scanner. Mm. Yes. Was... <laughs> Parallel I board, plugged, baby. I plugged my bomb scanner into uh, my Linux laptop at the time, and it's like, oh, it doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> there, there was a uh, a period I like to call. All of the 90s and a lot of the <laughs> early aughts where USB analytics, you, you didn't want to go with it. Just no. Nah. Was not was not a thing. No, it wasn't like there was a ton of peripherals using USB. I mean, outside of like the things that were like remotely common, you would see, you know, your gerbils and your keyboards. But you drives. PS2. No, they didn't exist, baby. No, I don't know. <laughs> this is a different <laughs> world. This is a long, long ago, baby. We all had CRT monitors uphill both ways. Modems. Modems, man. How long did you live with a dial up modem, Jordan? Longer than I had to because my parents didn't want to pay for a uh, proper Technically, internet. Technically, that would not be longer than you had to. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Right. Uh, but it was, it was like a good. I don't know. I was very young at the time, so my sense of time there is really inflated. It feels like it was like five years, but it could have really been like six months. Oh, okay. And I'd have. <laughs> you, okay, you're gonna have to cut off your big toe. Count the rings. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, well, into the 2000s, I had a dial-up connection. Okay. I don't think that's completely unheard of, though, is it? No, no, no. Like, r r you, once once you get to about 2005. Like high speed internet starts becoming more the norm, but like until then, right? People were like, "Ah, oh, it's this internet thing, man. Like, go inside. <laughs> you got to use computer box to check the internet thing." But a lot of those people transition straight to mobile. That's true. Yeah, they just I, kept, I, uh, they might have a laptop floating around their house. Like, we're the weird ones. Everyone, you're watching this. You're probably watching it on your desktop. Might be watching your laptop, but it's near your desktop. <laughs> We're in our own bubble, man. You go over to the average person's house. They yeah. might have a laptop. Maybe. Yeah. More than likely. They got an well, iPad. They got their mobile. They, they got a laptop that their job gave them. Yes. 100%. yes. There's a lot of people like that at work. <laughs> they have yeah. the one computer and that's the one we provision for them. That's because well, you won't give them the Hot Wheels PC like I told you to. <laughs> I want the Dora the they, Explorer apparently PC. Apparently they don't exist in the UK because I keep looking on eBay and other places like that. There isn't one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no. DSL only showed up. Uh, well, it wasn't DSL. It was cable. Um, didn't show up at my parents' house till like 1999, 2000-ish. 128 kilobits per second. We had yeah. dual ISDN. <laughs> this is how fucking fancy we were. But work paid for that. Not by mom, man. My first cable modem was not even a full. It, it was max. If you get it one time, we got it to download at a full megabit. Oh. <laughs> Did you see? Check this out, though. Um, Comcastic, of all people, they did a real-world test uh, earlier, like this month. Symmetrical, uh, I think it was 1.5 gigabits with cable over the existing infrastructure. With what, like Doxus 3 or whatever? Doxus 4, whatever. Yeah, Doxus 3 is... They... It's old hat now. I don't know. Doxus 3 is old, old anyway. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, when we first moved here to the UK, uh, we were looking for like internet service providers. We went into all the shops. We asked people. The the, the, uh, the dude that was working Just random in these shops. You're at the bakery. Like, give me the internet in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we right, went right. to ISP shops. Get your like internet back. E, you're like it's BT empty. three. Well, I, I, Vodafone. I, I mean, some, sometimes <laughs> when I'm going to shop for internet, I want a bagel too. Mm-hmm. That's across the aisle, but uh, <laughs> uh, no, we went into the three shop and uh, do the, the f- not not the two like, shop. Nope, it's an ISP here. <laughs> and He's banned. Cell from phone one shop. provider. <laughs> But now, a dude was saying, yeah, until about five years ago, I had um, dial-up because that was all that that was available where I live. It's like, Mm -hmm. (laughs) dial-up? In 2012, five years ago, because we moved here in 2017. It's going to be shit dial-up, too. (laughs) It's UK dial-up. Basically, Thatcher fucked all of the um, fiber um deployments so everything in this country runs over copper except for virgin which came a bit later and deployed their own <laughs> so we got about two minutes and we're gonna kick it in yep we got four minutes what can we do in four minutes man yeah. I was I- <laughs> I was I was watching a super cut of like Eric Andre interviews and they had um Eric Andre. Why should I know that? Uh they did a show on Adult Swim that was like pretty funny. Uh it was after my time. Yeah. Um it's it's sort of like the evolution of Space Ghost where like they physically bring people into the room and then like fuck with them. Mm. But like they they had one of the Spice Girls on and they're like, Do you think Margaret Thatcher embodies girl power? Do you think she embodies girl power by illegally funneling uh, money to right-wing um, Irish hit squads in the 80s? And she's just like, uh, uh, uh. It's pretty good. Um, or um, the, the the Lance Reddick interview is also, like, really funny. So it was kind of like a rip-off of Borat? Or... I get a little bit. Not Yeah, like, what was the uh, Ali G? Al- Ali G, yeah. Old Ali G in the house. Two thousand three, yeah. Yeah, yeah. On, on HBO, Sasha Baron Cohen's first thing. Yeah, um, yeah. It, it, it's it's very much in that style. I, I mean, like, they, they they fucked up the fiber rollout in the U.S. too, because that was supposed to be done in like the early oddies, and that never happened. Oh, they, they rolled just it out. About, they just never lit it up. Yeah, and then they, they just pocketed <laughs> all the money. It's good. And AT and T, dude, like they're rolling out fiber constantly, but they're not doing the. It, it's just in case fiber. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's not, it's not going out to rural areas either. Oh, you know, it's the, they're, they're putting it in rural. Yes. Oh, are they now? They uh. are, man. I go to the DSL reports form. People are like, yeah, they're, but they they're not putting in. They're not doing the last little bit to get it in homes. So this is there just as like, oh, if, if we end up having to deal with like Amazon and SpaceX competition, that's unfair. <laughs> but then again, it's at and They just like laid off half of HBO or whoever. Mm-hmm. Uh, DC Comics for sure. Got, well, they like, did that. They gutted that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Thatcher, basically BT wanted to start deploying fiber uh, at the end of the 80s. Seriously, Mir, control F. Nope. Mother- <laughs> also, unless he's got a fucking time machine, can't do fuck all about it. So. <laughs> and uh, for because apparently BT still is the biggest ISP here, uh, she said, no, the, you're already too big. You don't need any more reasons to get even bigger. So. <laughs> Nationalized internet. <laughs> yep. <laughs> if I was a better oh, man, yeah. Matthew Commandone, I'm guessing somewhere where it doesn't say <laughs> fucking pre shows in the middle of the screen. But then again, I'm not a gambling man.
Can you install Linux on Margaret Thatcher? Let's discuss. <laughs> I don't know. See, Amir, I just did Control F Thatcher, and there's two correspondents in that uh, article, so. You uh, are so fucking gullible. Yeah, Amir just says hey. shit like that to continue a conversation <laughs> so we can talk with the person on the internet computer. <laughs> That's his modus operandi. You have not put two and thirteen together on this yet. <laughs> I like arguing on the internet. Shut up. <laughs> well, you came to the right place. <laughs> All right. Um, let's get this thing out. Also, I'm running Debian Unstable on Jackbox, so this can be fun. Or it might not be fun at all. Isn't that right, fun. OC Urban? Fun, 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 until your daddy takes your T-Bird away. Did your parents at least buy your sister a car? No. No? Good on them, they got a lot dodge two bullets. <laughs> I think they may have they may have pawned off an old car onto my sister, but that's about it. Well, I don't mean new car when I say new. Yeah. 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 Um I know I shouldn't have felt had anything negative like because, you know, you, you don't get to choose your role of the dice as a kid growing up. But I knew a lot of kids that got a new car. I'm like, yeah, must be nice. Don't drive it like you stole it. Unless you actually stole it, in which case. I mean, do what you want. I'm not your Man, mom. my brand new car which most of it was my own saved money. And we're about and, to hear about uh, a Mazda again. Brace yourselves. Yes. <laughs> Mazda too. <laughs> one Lord of the, the Rings extended... <laughs> yeah, one, one Lord of the Rings extended edition long lecture about Mazdas later. Oh, you're doing all... that. No, no, I, I'm on the helicopter <laughs> ride in Jurassic Park, bitch. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's all—it's all the same John Williams yeah, thing. Yeah, it is. That—that—that that, that, that dude has been making money off of making the same song so for like what? fucking. They can drive Mazdas now. <laughs> fucking Velociraptors driving Mazdas. Yes. Like After eight years of me driving it, it sold for pretty good money. <laughs> all right. For reals. We're gonna be doing My first show. car was a Utah Raptor. <clears throat> well, you know what? Actually, I don't know if they're a Utah Raptor. Somebody will kick in with that in a minute. <laughs> um, <laughs> and welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that gives us the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, and tours, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. This week, oh man, I still have Jordan lined up. You guys can't see it, but he's covered in this big green and red square. It's kind of hot, but mm. look at the sword, man. It is there. Hey, everyone, I'm Vin Stone, old man Vin. It's the S Here at LGC Axe, we'll switch in the bits, doing the nightmare feel all under Linux each and every week. And um, the tamed thunder himself, the swordy boy. S word. S word? T S word. <laughs> That's what they call him, man, for sure. Old Svon. I'll you take know, S words for 300 hours. You gotta watch yeah. out because sometimes he's, he's got the tss out. And uh, yeah. it's amazing. And uh, staying up late past his bedtime, you know what I love him? Pedro Mateus, all the way from the island of Britannia. <laughs> Three of us, we get to hang out with you at home. Shot Realm Dynamic, joining us live in Discord and Twitch and all the other places. IRC, we always have to keep that. If you're doing anything related with Linux, you gotta have an IRC room. Such is the case. Helping us form Cocaine Voltron. It's that lovable uh, demonetizing bit that we like to mention each and every week. What's up, lads? Uh, we are tied this week because we always we get a little section in our show notes, right? We're right down saying, what have you been up to? What have you been up to? We're, we don't talk a lot during the week. And fuck that section this week, man. Nobody, nobody <laughs> put a thing in. 
<laughs> there wasn't much happening with me right up until, you know, a couple hours before the show where K Wayne decided to memory leak. Fucking KDE, man. <laughs> I couldn't hear you, man. I, I, I just like opened an XFC window and moved it around. Like, <laughs> I, 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 I mean, no, no, normally Wolfenstein tells you when you're out of video memory, so. <laughs> hey, man, listen, don't judge me just because I got six gigs like Wolfenstein does constantly. It was yeah. either the kernel or system D. One of the two basically saved me because by the moment that KWIN was using up like 14 gigabytes of memory, it's like <laughs> dead. <laughs> Here's what I want. I, ha- I, have a, I have a game I want you to try. Jordan? Uh, okay. I, well, there, there's a motorbike game. That'll be lovely. It's made just for memory leaks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it'll teach you to have a swap file. So you, so you can have enough slow memory to catch it and Just the enough to, like, something is incredibly wrong. Let's I see have if I can... eight old gigabytes of it. <laughs> I have 32 because Debian's like, how much memory RAM do you have? That's how much your swap is now. I'm like, ow. That's <laughs> me. <NVMe. laughs> Okay, <laughs> thanks, Debbie. What's yeah. new with you, Jordan? Uh, I mean, I, I I posted this in Discord uh, yesterday. I went for a big squat day on Friday. I got up to five forty-five just in time for the gyms to shut down in Ontario for another month. I was, was I I had my ne- I had my next program picked out. How I are they doing? Ready it, to go? Because I you you said they had like little bubbles set up. Not not necessarily little bubbles, but they they limited the number of people in. Uh, you mm-hmm. had to wear masks in between exercises, and you had to clean everything before and after you used it. Okay. So so like it it, it was pretty reasonable. Um, and yeah, uh, the the province just came out. And they're like, yeah, uh, no warning. We're effective uh, nine a.m. tomorrow. Uh, gyms, bars, restaurants are all shut down. Uh, so do you think you I'm, could I'm, do a bar I'm going in a gym? A gym bar? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. Now, now I'm looking. I'm looking at uh, prices for squat racks. Uh, I'm looking at man weights are expensive. Why? Why are they so can't, expensive? Can't you just like squat some kettlebells and then turn. I mean, I so the heaviest kettlebell I have is a 32 kilogram one. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I got another one, like I can't get up high enough to where I was squatting before, even with doing front squats. But you can maintain a little bit, though, right? And go. Down I can. The I can maintain. Yeah. Well, so that that that's the idea with like the rock training now. Is now I'm gonna go pick up more rocks because <laughs> that's the heaviest be a thing I can. Sentient bruise. Still yeah. haven't found that video. <laughs> no. 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 Um, <laughs> moving moving rocks around and pushing cars in empty parking lots. That's what I have to go back to now. All right. Okay. That's not too bad. Uh, I am I'm unstacking. <laughs> no stacks. No, I, I was like, man, that's going to be a bit of work. I should have got started on that while Jordan was talking. I was like, oh no, Jordan's finishing. Um, <laughs> so what? Yeah, so, uh, oh, you're still going. Geez, I, I had uh, time. I was just going to say, be on the lookout for more videos of me moving rocks around. Apparently, apparently, that, <laughs> if that if that lady's going to be filming me more, I don't know. Yeah, look up people in Canadian land on oh, Instagram. Wait, okay, <laughs> there you go, there you go. Just make sure you're wearing your Linux Gamecast apparel so you can put it on the back and be like, Jordan at! Use me, right. use me! <laughs> so they know where to send it, man. Oh, um, yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm just going to wear that pelvis shirt. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it, it, it's going to happen, man. I, I got to do the fanny packs, too. Dude, um... This showed up today. Uh, if you, this is my brand new Golden Age Pre seventy three microphone amplifier. It's the eagle eyed among you, you might notice that. Wait a minute, that that's Lady Ada Ada Fruit Box. They mm. they don't sell music. I mean, you would be correct. <laughs> this is what I ended up buying when I was like, I'm going to buy myself something. And uh, well, this is what we ended up getting. This is uh, the Raspberry Pi high quality camera, the twelve megapixel Sony deal with a Pi Zero W, um, so we got the Wii Fees. I'm going to see if I can make like a little webcam. I thought people would get more entertainment out of uh, seeing that. Plus, uh, out of curiosity, I wanted to see how it matches up against the D3400, a legitimate comparison, because that was like 150 bucks, man, for all that crap. Um, yeah, we're going to be doing some videos, and we'll, we'll see how that looks. That, that's really all. I can't do anything with it. Even get a little card reader that showed up. Didn't get any of my SD cards. So that's just a box right now. Mm-hmm. That's where I'm but, at. I like to tinker around and build stuff. That's uh, something me and Pedro have in common. 
Except, you know, I guarantee you, I, I will get more use out of this Raspberry Pi Zero by Thursday than Pedro's ever. <laughs> Once the Pie Boy DMG case arrives, I might have something to say about that. <laughs> does it have clearance for the heatsink, though? It does. Not that one, but uh, they do have an active one. You are one dead to me until you take a Dremel to that case. <laughs> <laughs> that could happen that could very well happen we, it has to happen now we, we, I, i've spoken we, i've spoken we've definitely taken dremels to stranger devices we've taken some dremels to the horse though we've we've reorganized it and now it's like a super horse uh oh it's it's it's, it's got a, a head for a leg and a tail for a nose it's the steam God, God fucking me. damn it, shit ass piss motherfucking booger. Yeah, no, so, um, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, oh, a, little, a little late on that there, Ben. Yeah, so, um, chat filtering. Uh, oh, we I'm talked sorry, about. Wait, what? <laughs> a little late on what, Jordan? <laughs> He's not muted either. He's doing that. I know. I, I, I'm <laughs> <laughs> interrupting uh, beep goes what? Interrupted beep goes moo. <laughs> yeah. So um, chat filtering. We talked about it a while ago. Uh, Valve has offered the ability now, uh, at least in the Steam uh, workshop, not the workshop, the labs to um, essentially allow you to or to censor out most common swears and profanities and dirty words. Uh, you could disable it you can fine-tune it so that you can get your selected level of profanity if you're fine with shit but not fine with fuck then you can adjust that but yeah uh, it's out by default now um so if you want you can opt out of it and get exposed to the broad toxicity that is just the steam community at mm. large or you know you can set up your own little filtering rules and turn so everything one into of the pumpkins. things i'm worried not even worried about i'm curious about all right how does the three of us we'd never pay any attention i mean that's not like our generation, like sticks and stones, right? But people just say whatever they want. Is because they've always done the uh, censoring with into the forums and like on comments and stuff like that. This is that functionality just hasn't been in chat and like group chats and stuff. Mm -hmm. I get yes, um, and you know, you know, people get salty when they're playing games. They'll send messages to people, and you know, sometimes mm -hmm. you don't you want you don't want to get called racial slurs or homophobic slurs because you know you just want to play a computer game. So <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Canadian so saying, internet's a different place, Strike, Pedro. <laughs> if I go uh, into Counter Strike level offensive right now, and I don't hear the N word being leveraged at me three times in a row, that uh, that's not okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's a that's a few. That's that's the entire point of this. I assume most people don't, but if that's your kink, Pedro, if you like being called the N word, there's something wrong with you. But Steam Steam won't stop you from that happen. Won't stop that happening from you. I Actually, guess. no. That that was uh, the moment that they introduced this change. I saw the uh, update that came on Steam. Okay, so how do we disable that? Because I, I I don't want my content filtered. I'll do the filtering myself. Thank you very much. So if Steam is going to be hands off, they should be hands off for everything. But apparently that doesn't apply to everything. Uh, so yeah, no. If you go to the exact same place in your account settings for the Steam Store where you can disable the uh, violence and nudity filters, the the little blurry uh, bits that show up if you have them on, then yeah, the option for chat filtering is right below those two. You can just disable it there. And yeah, no, I'd very much like to see all of those, please. Hey. Okay. All of them. That's the thing. If you want it, it's there. Make use of it. <laughs> Options are nice for people who want it. But something we were terribly excited about was the Left for Brad update. Left for Dead, like new campaign and first big update in 10 years. We were all kind of excited, weren't we? We were. We're like, all right. Yes. Mar mar marginally excited. I was <laughs> more content. Was... <laughs> Curiosity counts as excitement in my world. Now, mm. then it came out and. I don't think I was alone when I stood back and I said, "Where's where's the popcorn?" And this is, this is not bad. It's short. It's it's thing. It seemed um, like a whole lot of hype for two maps that well, weren't even all two, that big. Two two maps and the survival mode thing. That was the right. big update. Well, that that was like the big focus is <laughs> yeah. uh, how that rock and roll. Well, there's more to this story apparently. Um, 
This has stayed up on the forums. I, oh, it's been locked now, but yeah. oh. <laughs> I was reading through this. This is from Batty. VNN got me kicked out of TLS dev team. Talk with Nightly Archangel about the last stand update disaster proof. Full conversation here. Basically, what I got out of this outside of the slap fight was none of that really concerned me, the drama and stuff, but this was like a slapdash team that was stuck together for like, what, 11 months? It ended up being like almost 20 people that were um what's the words i'm looking for gentlemen compartmentalized to like people didn't even really understand isolated i think is more accurate Compart- <laughs> compartmentalized is, is I, the right I term that's the word right, like right. you're told hey you're working on this one thing but you're not told how it's going to work with this other thing and you're not really in on the updates that have been made since we told you to work on that you're out of that loop so oh in a vacuum gotcha <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh, over over specialization. It's it's a thing that happens, especially um, when 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 you try to apply like a large organization structure to a very small team like this. Um, you, in in a case like this, you probably want more communication. You want more cross functionality. But apparently, they didn't do that, and there was a bunch of drama. I I tried reading through it, but I I could not care i honestly i read through all of it and the five or six updates that are currently on the uh original post at this point and it is basically the dude uh got in touch with one of the developers that got kicked out of the team and um the reason he got kicked out i couldn't actually make out if he got kicked out because he talked about uh talked to Valve News Network about it, or uh, if he'd already been kicked out before then, and he was just reaching out to Valve, uh, Valve News Network to actually shine a light on whatever the hell was happening because he didn't know and no one was telling him. So, yeah, no, uh, I'd, I'd still like that uh, that particular question answered, please. Pedro, Pedro, <laughs> you, you got to tell me who to sharpen my pitch for. I don't know. That getting who who can I be angry about about something I didn't even know I should be upset? I'm, I don't care. Good luck because yeah. I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Gabe, let's let's all be upset about Gabe Newell. I was thinking about that earlier today, man. Like Gabe just straight up owns Valve, owns Steam. Like no investors. Gabe would be like, you know what? We're closing tomorrow. No. Well, at, at, at the same time, like we can hate on Gabe all we have want. The pitch He's going to leverage that, him, but. <laughs> But like whatever, he's just gonna go cry into his giant pile of money, right? Like, oh no, it's just like the like the queen has the ability to strip, disband Parliament, having that like nope switch. Like mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, um, we're done. Close down. I recommend tomorrow. We're <laughs> go on, hold new elections for a new Peace. one. Yeah. We're reinstating the monarchy. <laughs> yeah, fine, mm. we'll elect a better Gabe <laughs> <laughs> with blackjack and hookers. That's right. New version of Proton is out, and it's glorious and it's full of egg rolls and i want to give a talk about it because i can finally play a game that i genuinely give negative fucks about that game is mafia 2 but what do we have uh, they fixed regression that caused upstream pending issues with vulcan patch for horizon zero dawn because people like that serious sam 4 proton mm-hmm. fix apparently that didn't solve all of your issues though jordan well, so it's fixed one of them, but there's still some ongoing issues with that. Uh, there, If you get into the game, there's a bunch of texture flickering. They haven't fixed that, but now at least the game launches um, with uh, DirectX 12 and DirectX 11. Uh, no Vulkan on NVIDIA under uh-huh. Linux. You're still shit out of luck there. Uh, they're 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 working on that, but that's apparently not working. So if you if you you get you get the Dix Vix, you get the VKD 3D. No native Vulkan. That's very very sad. You know, we get it definitely like throws me back. Remember when we were um, playing through it when Vulcan was first coming to um, the Serious Sam remastered? Yeah, and with the fusion. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you had some rainbow textures going on at some point. We, every, every everyone did. Uh, we ran into the, them occasionally. I mean, that was just like, oh look, there's one of those things. Yeah, so, like, switch back to OpenGL and the problems fixed. The performance drops, but you know, I can actually see what I'm shooting at. <laughs> I think I think there was like straight up at one point you're just like, yeah, no, everything's black. I can't see it. Yeah, thing. everything. Thing just yeah yeah all textures gone it was great yeah. but then you couldn't tell us like is this intentional or not but back to my point with um mafia mafia 2 definitive edition which i somehow own i'm guessing that was in a bundle at some point but i wanted to play around with it and last week i tried it it just spite nope told me to get wrecked it's like, fine i didn't want to play it anyway then this came out so i downloaded another 40 gigs of mafia and it started if you monkey around with the um screen resolution 
It runs very well as a 10 year old game should, but uh, yeah, that's playable. I can finally get my not a GTA Dick Tracy on. And the uh, thing that stood out to me were the bunch of fixes for native uh, Vulcan titles that you're playing through Proton because they don't have a Linux version. Uh, they A lot of them have been fixed and they will work natively, except for Sirius M4. Uh, <laughs> one of the ones that they fixed is one that I've been meaning to get back into at some point, which is Path of Exile. Uh, that game, I played, played the open beta when it was still an open beta for a long, long time, and then the game actual came out, and I went full hipster and never touched it again. <laughs> I'm to ask, um, Jordan, you're on XFC, uh, like I am. Uh, I is, yeah. You've also downloaded Proton GE, right? Mm -hmm. Did you ever notice, like, the weird thing? Um, I'm going to say even, like, as recent as the last version, where your monitors kind of cycled when you... Yes! Yeah, okay, yeah! okay. This fixes it's that not shit. just an XFC thing. Uh, all okay. right. That well, was that's... also happening in KD. <laughs> all right, that shit a scary, but it, it, B, it, it is. Yeah, we we covered the dark eight, dark the long ago man when that the, meant, the SDL oh, one point two mm, days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that that was like, oh, let's go SSH into the box, see if we can get it back up. But um, I didn't notice that with this, so that that's an improvement. That's mm -hmm. good. That's, That's very good. Ho ho hopefully that gets into like mainline Proton level well, yeah, quickness. Well, 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 well regular Proton, Proton doesn't, do, doesn't that. do this. The, yeah, yeah. the big thing with the, well, the only <laughs> issue, here's what was a real issue is if it died in a fire when it was at like some 720p resolution. That looks really interesting on a 48 inch monitor, by the way. Mm. <laughs> the pixels are about yay big. Yeah, because it's on the virtual <laughs> desktop and you're like, well, yep. I, that that's an H. <laughs> I didn't know there was an H in Mafia. Oh man, yeah, it's silent. It's next to the seven. Mafia, yeah. Cyber Mafia, Mafia. twenty thirty two. Uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, from Proton, uh, the um, glorious egg roll version to something that's just designed to complement a any version of Proton that you happen to want to run. This is the Steam compatibility, uh, well, it's Steam Tinker launch, and it is now uh, able to be used as a compatibility tool, just like you would install um, Glorious Egg Roll, uh, that particular version of Proton, you can now when install was the last time uh, SDL. You installed an Egg Roll, Pedro? Uh, into my mouth uh, a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, it's been that many. You've, you've yes. been without egg roll for a couple of weeks. Delicious I, egg roll. I, I, I don't actively seek out egg rolls. Uh, Why not? They are Wait, something I enjoy, no, no, but no, I don't no. actively seek them. Okay. Out. <laughs> does Does Nori have to like sneak them like in like hide them in cheese? And like give them to well, no, 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 no. Well, 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 <laughs> while, while he's sleeping, she just like drops the egg roll in his mouth and rubs his throat a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, she puts the egg roll in his hand and tickles I'm his I'm pretty nose. sure someone's getting off to that particular mental picture right now. Or, but no. or, 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 or <laughs> she, she blends it up and like pours it into your mouth with like a funnel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, no, STL is uh, very much that tool that we've, ta we've talked about the last couple of versions. And it basically makes configuring like each and every single game just a matter of editing the configuration file rather than having to set everything up in uh, from the steam launch options or having to download a bunch more stuff it basically just applies all those fixes directly by just adding stl command into the launch file and then you can set the per game options from the configuration or as the new version introduces it you can install it like you would uh, Proton GE, drop it into the compatibility tools uh, folder in Steam, and then you pick that, and it'll always launch with that, with whichever version of uh, Proton you have STL set to run the games with. So that's very good. They have a tray icon too, if you like those. <laughs> Seems a bit redundant a to have a tray icon. You tray. say, "Wow, yeah. now I'm sold." <laughs> I, I guess maybe maybe it gives you the option if you want to like globally set like a Proton version or something. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it's a handy little project because 
you know, if you go over pro any like given article on ProtonDB, there's a lot of optimizations that need to happen at times. So it's good to have all of these sort of. I think that's fantastic collated. for everyone else. So I my give a fuck a meter. Boy, does it start slamming towards zero if I have to do anything more than um. Man, I don't do anything these days. That that. There we go, Mango Hut. That's it. I'll add that. Mm. <laughs> this this one this that's one will fair. be Mango yeah. Hut though. <laughs> That, that's the Anyways, extent uh, of it, man. That's I, I'm I'm spoiled, man. If I hit play, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Oh, you're gonna work?" Nope, you get uninstalled. Yeah. Uh, so there's the, there's a new Steam client out there, uh, stable version. We've been covering the uh, beta that uh, or the betas that have been coming out, and uh, yeah, now they're they're all prime time. So if you've been holding back on a beta update because it's been breaking your Steam games, well, too fucking bad. Hey man, listen. <laughs> I want you to install this uh, Wolfenstein game real quick. Just right, yeah. yeah little, little. But for, first, you gotta log into Bethesda Net. Yep. Yeah, so it adds, it adds the chat <laughs> filtering to prime time, like we discussed. Uh, the library improvements. Um, they fixed the crash for Steam networking. Uh, there's uh, some metal fixes for DNS Steam overlay. resolution and container runtime mode. Yay! Yeah, we, we 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 talked about that at length as well. That's the big Linux update here is the containerized Scout runtime and the progress they're making trying to get you know GPUs working in a containerized environment. <laughs> that's that's always a fun task. You got like a little uh, bit of hard mode, man. Yeah, but uh, yeah, no, it's it's out now. So like I said, if it's breaking any of your games, well, <laughs> sucks. To I'm be down it. with that, man. Were you running that um, Thursday when we were playing the latest? Or uh, do you run beta or? Um, you know what? It changes from week to week depending on what's broken. I'm apparently not in the beta right now. Oh, I, had to right. Double, I had to double check. I, I was so curious as to what the, like, which is brew we had set up because normally it is like, okay, you log into Bethesda. That, yeah, we're talking about through a browser, just on a computer for whatever reason. Prime we, the tubes. We, we cycled this a few <laughs> times and eventually it works. This just worked out of the box last week. So was, then, then Jordan, uh, your, your box locked up or something. You had to reboot. So Some, something yeah, like that. Yeah. It, it, it extracted its pound of flesh. For your it's and what, what's hilarious too, is that it's never like whenever I want to play games with other people, it's you on Thursday specifically. Yeah. This, it, it keeps us on our toes, man. This is the, the game is just the play session. The 20 the, the, plus the, the, years of Linux knowledge is required each and every week. <laughs> the, 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 the real stream is <laughs> the 20 minutes before the stream. Right. Like, shit, why isn't this working anymore? Fuck! Exactly. It's like, really? Oh, okay. So we're dealing with this. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, man. Gamer Gotta Ross. go fast. Go oh, yeah, Gamer yeah. Ross. It's a thing that we've also been covering for a while. And uh, version 20, it's out. Uh, it's that arch, but totally not arch according not to arch. the developers. Show me, show me on arch. the dull where it says it's arch. <laughs> but you're running on top of Arch. Okay. Uh, but yeah, no, it is... Uh, the new version's out. It's got Kernel 5.8. It's got Mesa 20.1.8 and the NVIDIA 450.66 drivers. So basically just the standard update that I wish Valve would do to the official SteamOS image, but they seem to stop caring about that. Uh, the This new version comes with the Sega 32X, Sega CD, and the Epic Game Store uh Compatibility, so you'll be able to just sideload those games into your SteamOS type of big picture. You're not going to be able to use a controller, though. Again, no, S -S no, with the Epic Store, no, I can't yeah. do that. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that, that's one of the big uh, no workies they've listed in the patch notes here as well. Gentlemen, help me out. Refresh my memory. Um, Gamaros, it's not when it's not fighting Gojira. Um, what do I use it for? Do I, is it an application? Is it like Lutris or is it like it's Play like, on Linux? It's, it's, it's like Play on Linux. It's a Linux distribution. Oh, it's a distribution like yes. Play on Linux. All right. it, it's a full on distribution like Play on Linux, but it, it is basically trying to be what uh, SteamOS hasn't been for a long, long time, which is an up to date living room operating system on, for uh, your arch in, <laughs> in danger of like bursting into flames if you install the wrong R. Basically, <laughs> yeah. I, I, as this we discussed, it, it that's, your like, that's your fault. That's your fault. Not, by the way. <laughs> Hashtag but yeah, cares. No, th This one is just trying to be a self-contained thing, and all the end user will see is the Steam Big Picture mode. And this makes it much easier if you want to say side sideload other games like emulator games for RetroArch and um. The Epic Game Store for some reason. How many games were released with 32X? I had a 32X too. 
No idea. List <laughs> I of Sega a... 32X <laughs> games. I Corpse Killer on Sega CD 32X, and I had the Star Wars game. Uh, <laughs> not, not a lot, actually. Holy shit. It had to be under uh, 50, right? It's like 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, that might take a while. Uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah Game Ross is one of those uh, operating systems that I am tempted to try, and I will eventually put a proper NVMe drive in the Steam box because, yeah, it's a 500 gigabyte M.2 SATA SSD in there right now, which is fine. But it would be nice to have proper NVMe just so I know that it's proper NVMe and it stops bugging me in my brain. 40. So when I do that, 40. Uh, when I do that, I will most likely install Gamrus. That 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 will be a thing. <laughs> well, you know, you know what they say. Gamrus is friend to children. So <laughs> it's 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 really neat. It's made of turtle meat. We believe in Gamrus. <laughs> Gamerous. Gamerous. So check, whoa. Um, one thing that I noticed earlier this week, I'm trying to get to it. Steam's being a butt, man. Steam's saying I'm not old enough to look at the Sega page. No, you're <laughs> you're you're like twelve, right? Dude. Uh so Mega Drive, classic, set thing happened, right? Sega. Yes. <laughs> and I, I even uh, streamed a little bit of that. Ready, here we go. Yay! I made it work. Uh it's out. We talked about it way back when. So apparently this thing came out in 2010. What? Yeah, the original I, yeah. Mega Drive Classics came out in about 2010, yeah. <laughs> now, we rapped about it strictly because, hey, man, it's available for Linux. And it was. I'm like, hey, that's the thing you can definitely do. There's a bundle. You can get all the games for like 772 But Sega is having a birthday, anniversary birthday. So you can pick up Sonic. For the low, low price of absolutely free. Nice. Which I did. <laughs> Holy hell, that interface is bad. That we're talking like <laughs> it, it it would make Microsoft Bob bad. Microsoft Home, the origin of Clippy. Yeah. Do you remember those <laughs> like uh yeah, like oh look up uh, your books library and click on that. It's mm -hmm. that type of shit, except worse. Also, mm. also my anemic little 2060 can't handle that fucking room. On Gotta high. go fast, man. Gotta go fast. <laughs> it can. It can. You can turn six. that off. <laughs> you, you, At you least could, you used to be able to. You, you can dial it back to like medium <laughs> on medium. I couldn't hit 60 in the room. Did Mind you have you. a battle axe in your room when you were a kid? Yes. Wow. Lucky spoiled peasant. Pen. <laughs> I had a shovel. <laughs> it's a thing. You can play it. There's a bunch of options. Uh, you can keep adding games to your collection. I think you can get Golden Axe, uh, Ninja. What's it? What was it called? Ninja Shinobi. Gaiden. Or Sh uh, Shinobi. Yeah. yeah Shinobi. Shinobi. Ninja Gaiden was um, Shania Nintendo Gaiden. Or Sony. Sh 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 Shania Twain, <laughs> professional ninja. Yeah. I'd play that game. <laughs> No, hey, you, I have. You, I already had um, Sega Mega Drive Classics because of Comic Zone. Because at one point in my life, I was obsessed with that game, and then it came out on Steam, and I got it, and I played all the way through. It's like, oh, I don't remember the game being this short. It is okay. currently eighty-seven percent <laughs> off, man. Like, even if you want to, it's normally eighty-one bucks. It's currently seven seventy-two. If you want to drop it on that, now I remember we were talking about it. Hey, it came to Linux, but it also has multiplayer. Mm. Now, this is something I need to bring up because we're like, oh, you it has multiplayer, but it turns out it has RNG multiplayer. I'm just like, well, that's fucking mm. useless because we yep. only want to play. But wrap your minds around this, ladies and gentlemen. It also now supports Steam Remote Play. Ooh. Oh, we might play Everything some... supports Steam Remote Play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, 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 mean, I mean, what do you say to uh, maybe we could do like a little Golden Axe or something? What maybe, games maybe have little... like more than two players on Genesis? Man, shit. Was there even like a multi-tap on Genesis? I don't. I don't think there was. Like, so the, uh, the, the, Micro Machines would like a word with you. Well, okay. Uh, make with some fucking words because I don't know. <laughs> yes. No, you got to right. do it like the Micro Machine guy. That's way too slow. <laughs> I'm on crystal man. <laughs> That's the thing. What do we have up next? Uh, we got a couple of new games. Thanks to uh, we're doing the game festival thing. That's kind of a thing. And seems mm -hmm. like, yo, everybody release some 
Demos. Uh, demos. Festival demos, yeah. Yeah, it's it's the same thing that they did last year. It's uh, the Autumn Festival is basically demos all around. So if you want to try a game before it comes out, now is the time to do it because Sometimes, most of them like, have uh, demos available. The games will be like, oh, the g- it'll be out at the end of 2020. And then other ones are like, 2022 eventually. I don't know. If I <laughs> Come, but coming when spoon. we get around to it. Right? <laughs> but yeah, this first one is spell cards. And if you're looking at that and going, that looks a lot like Super Tux Card. That's not the only game. <laughs> You know, so I mean, that, we you, will be you talking know, about that, that's, this. That's, that's Pedro, most, Pedro, Pedro, Pedro. That's I, most kart racers. I'm going to walk up to you like the original um, SNES. Uh, Mario Kart slap you with it. Like, looks like what? Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, at, yes. at the end of the day, uh, any, any kart racer, Crash 3D, Bandicoot, not just the sprites, Sonic like 3D, races. like well, the original. Look, now, it, yes, I mean, one. these guys have on, like, fucking uh, <laughs> Ginyu Force outfits. I mean, it's true, yes. they do. <laughs> I want I want to play they Burger. They don't even pretend let the power-ups are anything other than magic because it's called spell cards. You, you cast spells on the other racers and you have a mana bar and you have a health bar. So yeah, they try to include the... Um, the RPG elements, let's call them that, into a card game and I'm not entirely sure that works but okay all right it's still in early access so by the time it comes out proper i may have a look at it i i had to take the pepsi challenge with this i'm going to say if we're being extremely generous and or kind um it was a very basic demo it's like a track with a fence around it that you can kind of spin around and uh i didn't know that unity actually had a vaseline shader until i played this game hmm you know, I, I, I'm accustomed to the film grain hide mistake shader, but uh, yeah, this is, this is like straight up beauty shot, like a little Vaseline on the lens. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm just happy to see like people are putting out games with actual online multiplayer instead of just relying on Steam remote play. Mm-hmm. It's it, it's a little thing, but like we've been screaming about it for eight fucking years now. I would hope that like we get some results. The um. It's available for Windows, Linux, and there you go. Next story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Skel- Skellboy Refractured. Uh, yeah, so it's an action RPG. It's another one of these uh, uh, game festival, autumn festival things that has a demo as well. And it's kind of got a, a bit of a Paper Mario vibe. Uh, with the really? three. This, this is like not turn-based, and it's no, 3D. It's a, yeah, it's... Um, well, I, I mean, the Paper Mario in terms of like 2D characters was like the 3D backgrounds. Sort Largest of thing. game for the N64. Yeah. Uh, but it, it, it's there. It's a hack and slasher. It looks all right, honestly. Um, it's kind of got a cute little hipster pixely aesthetic. Um, like the. Like <laughs> 3D the, the hipster depth, pixel. <laughs> the, the, dep- the depth in the lighting actually looks like really good. Uh, I, I definitely want to give this a deeper look. This has the same style. What was it like? Igabo? There was this e- game. Like oh yeah, 10 e- years Ego ago. Boo. Yeah. Ego Boo. That 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 was a native Linux game actually. That was uh it was never finished. It was always like no. ah, we we would talk about it like once every six months back in the old days. Indeed. <laughs> I tried it, uh downloaded it. Uh this is gonna be released twenty twenty. This is from Omac Games. And um, hey, it Mikey? Works. Maybe. I don't know. You can say whatever. I know one's gonna judge on that. Uh you might I'm gonna just gonna be honest with you. You might want to skip the uh, two minutes of like uh, you know credits and the Ubuntu uh, that I said Ubuntu thirteen like right at the beginning of the game because I almost tapped out. Like, I want to try your demo, and they're like, "Oh, developed by oh, and this guy worked on it." This I'm like that means fucking nothing to me. I haven't played your game yet. Oh, I I <laughs> hate front loaded credits in games. It, like. Uh, w- the the Game of Thrones shares that this week does something kind of similar, not quite, but I, I hate it when they're just like, yeah, we got to sit through about 20 minutes of credits before you get to the actual game. Before you get to the menu where you can change the fucking screen resolution, we got to like sit through this intro mm-hmm. and do a little playable Metal bit. Gear Solid would like a word with you? I didn't like it there. I'm a big Metal would Gear fan, and I'll criticize it based on that. Pedro, yeah. why, would you put your bag of freakish talking games like back in the closet while we're doing the show? No. No, they're out and proud, man. You you can't you can't shame them back in the closet. They they want to live their lives and talk. They they, they want they want to have words. Yes, I be, Pedro, baby. Pedro, you gotta let them speak for themselves. Stop like, stop gatekeeping them. 
Let, let, them, uh, let them express the themselves. Tarnia if adventures. anything, I'm enabling them because I'm telling you that they'd like a word with you. <laughs> is now broadcasting this, uh, live. And you can watch the developers play as we're doing right now. And my first thought, like you at home, you're sitting there going, Is that a bagpipe? Where's the close button? No, yeah. that's not a bagpipe. That's a flamingo. You a, a, fl- a, fl- a flamingo guitar? Yes, it, it, it's a flute mango. I don't I, know what it actually it is. Looks, it looks but like, well, you know, if I was going by the color style, I would say, "What'd you do to Fortnite?" They, turn, it they is, turned it into it Warcraft. Absolutely does uh, I, a lo- uh, look a lot like oh, Fortnite. Shit. But no, is this what happened Elteria. to Crazy Justice? No, 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 no. This is Elteria. It's a sandbox MMORPG where you do the crafting like in Fortnite, and you do the action like in Fortnite, and you do the massive multiplayer online thing God like in damn, Fortnite. Sailor Moon's got weird. All right, so pretty. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's a high fantasy MMORPG, supposedly. Um, does it's, that, does uh, that the, edge lord ass character like speak to you, Pedro? Not really. Uh, uh, in fact, in, that in whole streams, aesthetic, it does. In that whole aesthetic that I, they show in the screenshots and the video with the developers playing and whatnot, that doesn't speak to me at all. If anything, that makes me go, <gasps> no. Yeah. And they don't have a planned release date yet. Uh, they say, oh, planned release date coming soon. Fuck you. <laughs> I, I mean, so, I, don't, I don't know. We, we, we have a, we have a like, real dearth of MMOs look, look under Linux. fucking so. clouds and shit. Come on. I mean, <laughs> what do you want? Do you, do you need it to talk to you? It looks more like Fortnite. If I mean, anything, yeah. It just keeps looking more and more like Fortnite. <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like Fortnite, but it's the thing. We don't have a lot of MMOs under Linux. And any, anything that's you know trying to fix that, I think, is a step in the right direction, even if no one's going to really play it. Uh, but you know, there's a demo. You can try it out. Maybe it's your thing. Maybe you wanna. Wiggle maybe monsters. you believe in the project. Maybe you just wanna hang out with some tentacles. W- wiggle uh. monsters. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. What are our requirements? Um, fourteen oh four dual core, three gigs, eight gigs. Reasonable right. right. specs. Yeah. Fair warning. Uh, I don't know, man. I think that's like a very unrealistic requirement. Is a uh, broadband internet connection. Now, every everyone's still on dial-up. We were talking about that earlier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> MMOs, man. What MMOs do we have native on? Rhizome? Uh, we, we, we had that Albion Online one. Yeah. Uh, uh, Albion is still going, yeah. <laughs> there, there, there's a couple, but not, nothing really high profile. Every, every, yeah, everyone none of the like, big ones are here, and like whenever we see a big release for an MMORPG, uh, it usually doesn't come to Linux. And well, Ragnar- remember- Ragnar- Ragnarok Online had a Linux client, didn't it? At one point? Here's, the, here's the thing, though. It usually doesn't survive a you know, first year, no matter what it is, because it's, hey, look, yeah. it's another not wow. Yeah. Uh, yes. well, <laughs> so, I, I mean, so Lord of the Rings Online is still going relatively strong. That's, all that's the Dragons so, Online still going. Star, Star, Star Wars Star like, is still, still going. going. But then you have, like, <laughs> big-ass titles like that Star Wars game and the Conan Online shit. That, are they like, gone old yeah well i mean, I mean the old republic <laughs> went free to play a while ago yeah and i i guess whoever was running the conan mmo Did couldn't afford all the dick physics amazon with their lumberyard <laughs> game they uh put out the last update you know the one they released in july for like 20 seconds like ah oh, shit uh it's not done yet so they rolled it back and uh yeah they came out today and like oh yeah we're, we're gonna give everyone refunds for that take two Ugh, yeah yeah it's like it's oh, no good yeah well, it, it's it's something to play online with your friends under Linux without Steam Remote Play. Coming up next, it's so spooky. It's so spooky. It's going to make you, I don't know, switch to Grounded. running FreeBSD. GBSD. GB, GBASD. BSD Ghost for the Game Boy Advanced. <laughs> That's what we need. We need an MMORPG on the GBA. No, it's it, it it it's the BSD. It's the Boo Spooky distribution. <laughs> oh, Mana World. That's another one. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this out there. After doing a poop emoji and getting that through all the RSS feeds and that bullshit <laughs> nightmare, that's not happening, Joe. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> one of the emojis straight up does yeah. show up. <laughs> Not going to happen. Um, Beep goes moo, I'll give a boat. <laughs> Beep goes moo, all right. Fair enough. <laughs> Set up a Vaseline shader. Uh, 
Gamora's. Shania Twain, professional ninja. I'll give that one about. <laughs> Lovable demonetizing. Oh no, Jordan's finishing. I liked a better game. I like the better game, yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> All right, well, Beep Goes Moo is in the lead, apparently. Beep Goes Moo. <laughs> All right. Okay, I must pee now. I'll be back. What else is there to watch, Jordan Svang? I am out of TV well, shows now. Outside of, like, Lovecraft, so, uh, Wiggle so Mysteries. I, I, I got raised by wolves, and I guess that, that'll be the end of the it for me. The boys are done. That's done. What? Um, yeah, we're uh, we're, get, we're getting new Star Trek in a couple months. Next month? Uh, ne yeah, next month. Uh, Discovery's in November, I think. Ah, uh, uh, it's just the second October. Yes. What else? Uh, the Expanse season three is coming out. I Eventually. think early next year. Yeah, or not season three, season five. Um. What else? Apparently Harley Quinn got renewed for a new season. Good on that. When are we going to get my um, reason that... Well, let's face it, the reason I saw if a Disney subs because I'm too lazy to cancel it. Um, oh, uh, Mandalorian at the end of the month. Okay, Mandalorian. I want some of that. I still want my Loki Pokey Stick show. Uh, um, and I'm... Dude, WandaVision. Come on. Yeah, WandaVision. That's uh, got my fucking could, interest. I'm like, really? Uh, right. On Amazon Prime, they just released a series called Utopia. I watched the original one. It was like a BB, it was a Channel Four series that mm -hmm. I really, really liked. And I'm on the fence because did you I, see I, I the trailer to the um, what's his name? Uh, the Watch? No. Yeah. Not yet. The 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 Discworldish. Yeah, BBC, it's BBC series. America production it's like that looks like it's gonna be a very interesting show not very true to the novel but um it's gonna make people mad but i think it's gonna be an entertaining series nonetheless maybe i i, I can hold that hope um yeah what else we're supposed to be getting season two of the witcher sometime next year they're they're slowly leaking out yeah. like some screens of that uh, I'm really enjoying The Good Place, uh, but you don't like sitcoms, so no. they 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 had, they had a good bit where they're like, anything you draw on the pad of paper comes to life, and someone draws like this fucked up horse that comes to life. <laughs> they're like, I had to put it down. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, it struggled. Nice. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it fought back. It didn't want to go. <laughs> yeah. That, that 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 show is very very good. If you like sitcoms, or even if you, I, I I would say give it a watch. It's it's pretty funny. You see, Pedro, you need to inform Nori that you're going to need a minimum two more um, mouth animations to switch up between <laughs> segments. Two more Jesuses. <laughs> <laughs> we have the A. We'll uh... need an O. Yeah, a couple more vowel um, face animations. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I had to go in the office on Thursday, and um, when I came back, I saw the um, the googly eye that was on the forehead that now has that uh, darker spot there because the glue reacted with the picture. <laughs> the uh, I saw that was on my keyboard, so I looked at it, it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> You're leaving out the part where you stared at it for 30 minutes straight. <laughs> I don't stare at anything for that long. That's a lie. <laughs> you could probably check out looking at a wall, couldn't you? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Some people say watching paint dry is great. I start watching paint dry and then my brain just goes everywhere else but the paint drying. <laughs> hey, Steve, are you done with your radio? <laughs> of a box. I don't know. It is most certainly a box. Well, Steve hasn't oh, it, figured it's out. It's a yeah. mailbox. It, it opens up. <laughs> 
And inside are <laughs> coffee filters. Oh, paper towel. Really? This is a paper towel dispenser. Okay. <laughs> God damn. I mean, like, you couldn't have. If I had to uh, tr that, try that to come up with something more disappointing than that. <laughs> man, man, that was an emotional roller coaster. He had it lined up. He spent some time. Worth the wait. <laughs> uh, I don't. I would have got one off eBay, so probably no. Okay, Pedro, how much does the uh, paper towel dispenser? Well, paper towel dispenser go for? Oh, let's find out. The eBay <laughs> wizard will be at work. <laughs> Tell the Spencer. Strider, I like your theory that he just straight up just took a regular box and glued it to the wall. He's like, fuck it. I'll glue another one when that one's empty. <laughs> Anywhere from uh, 350 up to 25 pounds. Three pounds. So I want the really fancy ones. <laughs> oh, oh, if you so want the one that like rubs your hands and gives you lotion. <laughs> no, the one that has a little window on the front that shows how many paper towels are left. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay so so this, this, this reminds me of something from my old job where for whatever reason I got bored and like we, we had a we had a coffee machine that like gave out disposable cups. So I would I had a stack of like the empty ones on my desk and eventually one got to the ceiling and I'm like, how many more can I get to the ceiling? Just because like, <laughs> you, you know how it is, right? Like it's a challenge at this point. <laughs> <laughs> and for and for six months, six months, no one says a goddamn thing until the CTO comes in. He's like, Jordan, what the fuck is this? I'm like, it's my cup stack. <laughs> like, get rid of it. It looks like a mess. Like, you literally walk past this desk every day for six months and has not have not noticed the ever increasing <laughs> pillar of coffee cups I have here. This is a problem now. <laughs> it is because his boss noticed it. <laughs> yeah, someone told him about it. That, that was 100% six months of walking by your desk and him going, I don't want to fucking have that conversation if I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was impressed. It was I almost got two stacks high. I, I, I was sad when I, I and I, I was like engineering it so that like the tilt wouldn't like completely collapse it either. Like, I, I I had erected rudimentary scaffolding. Um, listen, man. Sometimes sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Right on. All right. Um, let me get a refill. And uh, how big is the news? Not too bad. Nah, not too bad. It's not definitely no steam segment. <laughs> well, this last couple of bits of steamy. Maybe so tiny. Teeny tiny. Very I don't. I, I don't got much to say for the chairquisition either. So, no. Nope, but you know what? It, it's good to have a game that pay you. See, I, I can't get both of you back because there's no genre where I like it and both of you dislike it completely. But, but like that. That's that's kind of the that's kind of the dynamic. Is like the you're never gonna get a consent. <laughs> no, except, no, except no. for like puzzle games. No puzzle th games. Th this motherfucker <laughs> down here throws it all out of whack because Pedro likes racing games and those other bullshit turn-based games. Yeah. I do. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I, I don't get to extract any like joy from that. <laughs> I just don't like sports games and um, RTS. That's it. <laughs> See, my brain was like, "Can you pretend to like sports games?" Like, I don't know, maybe we can. <laughs> <laughs> we just gotta find the right sport. It's gambling is sport. Poker. I mean, they, they have poker on ESPN. No, no, no Pokemon. Poker. Dude, <laughs> degenerate <laughs> Pokemon gambling. <laughs> it's only available in Belize. What's funny is like for competitive Pokemon, there's actually quite a bit of overlap with poker in terms of just bluffing people. It's kind of weird. Like the the level Rocket of, the League wasn't a sports game. <laughs> well, not with that attitude. We just need to get a bunch of like Mini Coopers and a giant soccer ball. <laughs> Need more boost. How was no one cloned? I want somebody to get on Steam right now and just give me clones. Like, do do a search. See if we can find any Rocket League clones. Like, Ro I'm gonna Google Rocket fucking clones. <laughs> if I Google Rocket clones, what happens? <laughs> Rocket League. <laughs> the oh shit. 
There, there's there's a channel called Linkuru, and apparently they have a video called The Elite of Crappy Rocket League Clones. <sighs> Iron Pineapple does the uh, Souls-like. Uh, he just goes through all of the Dark Souls clones on Steam, so yeah, no, might as well. <laughs> Linkuru, you say? <laughs> Link I don't know, I just googled Rocket Clones, and that was the first <laughs> thing that came up. Yep. Yep. He seems to do a lot of Rocket League stuff, so that that that, that makes sense. <laughs> Followed by Plo Kloon and the clones versus Rocket Battle Droids in Star Wars The Clone Wars. <laughs> Scott, are you being paid by Humble? <laughs> I guess calling um what's the Humble Pokemon game called? Temtem. Temtem. I suppose calling Temtem degenerates a bit much. <laughs> I mean, yes, it's rock, paper, scissors with more elements, but like, if, if you get into like 2v2 VGC, a lot of it is like, you get to see your opponent's team, but you don't get to see what their moves are. So you gotta like, figure out based on what you guesstimate. can suspect. <laughs> guesstimate. It's, it's very meta-focused, like... The what 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 it, what is or isn't a good Pokemon really depends on like what season it is. Like every online game, there's usually a meta around it. Even yep. old, uh, dead racing MMORPGs like Need for Speed World. There's a fucking car meta. <laughs> 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 Did we Man, see there were. All... Did that happen? Was that a thing? The... No. Okay. No. What would happen if you did a chown? Fifty three six zero. Five three six zero. Yeah, that's change owner. Yeah, I know what you'd have to chown have. Uh, well, that, uh, so you'd have to have a user ID. Five three six zero. Yeah. Yeah, five three six zero. So if you don't have one, uh, it would just give those permissions to a user that doesn't <laughs> exist. And no, I didn't say that it was change order because I didn't think you knew about it. It's because I was uh, jiggling my brain to figure out what that did. <laughs> when my, I say brain, really stupid shit, it's for my sake, not yours. Okay. <laughs> my uh, my brain went to like what what uh, what does five three six like actually mean in Octal? Uh, I yeah. don't I don't I don't remember what the what the first um, what the first octet is though because th that's usually for like the sticky bit and whatnot i don't know what five is yeah that usually with uh ch mod the, the zero is just the um yeah well it it, <laughs> it, it 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 it's it's special user group other i don't know i know yeah. user group other but special i don't know offhand so <laughs> that's how you get a conversation going kids <laughs> sure that's how you kill them. I just did. It's time to start. <laughs> Jump that over just a bit. I don't know. I, I, I always do dash V, 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 because sometimes like more V's increases the verbosity and it's kind of inconsistent with commands. LS, USB, LS, PCI, and I don't think LS CPU does the V, 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 V. <laughs> Uh, Ans Ansible also does multiple V's for debug level, uh... There's, there's, there's a couple that do that. Yeah, I mean, you could, you could definitely grow up. But, I mean, at that point, shit's really broke, too, anyway, so... I, I usually just go that by default, just be like, okay, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna see it, I'm gonna see it. Uh, well, you know, first I do a dump into the terminal, I'm like, come on, red syntax highlighting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Then after that fails. At first I was afraid. That I was, was petrified. petrified. Man, yeah, cake. That's the only way my brain processes that song now. <laughs>
Yeah, no, that's how I found the memory leak. Okay, let's Listening find the to Cake. There it is. <laughs> doom, do, 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 do. I want a girl with a short no, skirt retex. and low memory. <laughs> You're writing KDE. It's a, it's a sentient memory leak. Come on. <laughs> it wasn't a Patil version 19.5, which came out two days All ago. All I'm hearing is it's leaking more memory. <laughs> and they got, did they get rid of Conky and the wizard? You can still install it, but yeah, it's no longer default. Uh, sold out, Kate. <laughs> All right, beautiful people. Uh, news coming to you in three, two. The news will be right with you, but before we do that, we need to uh, I know basically we had a unicorn wizard. Do you think we could have a dragon wizard? I think uh, most 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 old dragons are wizards. Also, or at least if yeah, dragon they've been wizard, around long would, enough. Would it be a requirement for it to be voiced by Sean Connery? Yes. Okay. Um, and Sean Connery, Connery half of its heart, and uh, yeah, Sean, Sean, Con- could, Sean Connery could, or like, Benard- or Benedict Cumberbatch. Ooh, yeah, because no. we uh, smog. Yeah, here we go. It it it's split personality dragon. We could have. Both. Oh, it yeah. flips between the two. Okay. We could be greedy. <laughs> yeah, Benedict. Oh uh, no no no! Better yet, better yet, better yet. No no no, dra- no 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 no! Hang on, motherfucker! I got I got this! I got this! Exactly. All right. So <laughs> check this out. One of the dragons has a goatee. He's evil. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, if, if, if you, if you want to talk about dragon goat see, you've come to the wrong Discord channel. Uh, head on over to pinlinuxgamecast.com. Put your mouse over the support button. That, that, that'll allow you to enable this sort of content want, on a do weekly basis. You want basis. to support dragon goats. Dragon Ball Goatsy. <laughs> ask yeah. your ask your parents if you can support Dragon Goatsy. They yeah, um, would be like, I understand what Dragon is. What's Goatsy? He's like, oh, just search for it, mom. I, 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 you know what? <laughs> these days, these days, parents might be old enough to get Goatsy. It's true. Yeah, there's parents out there that have been around for that time. And and, and anyways, had a, put when, put your mouse over the, the support. Internet was a safer, simpler place. <laughs> you, you you mean you mean never? <laughs> What orifice says Caprissal <laughs> and not be judged. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, so any. So anyways, if that doesn't inspire you to give us money, I don't think anything t-shirts. will. T-shirts. Uh, yeah. Buy, buy some t-shirts at store.linuxgamecast.com um, or stickers. Fanny packs coming soon? Question mark. Also, we got uh, co- uh, coffee mugs as we well. We got to do the. Um, um, hey man, uh, we got them. We wear them. They're kind of brilliant. Uh, coffee mugs. Jordan was said. We have to do the 2020 Hill Santa shirt, so I'm open mm-hmm. for designs. Oh, if so, if you maybe want to submit one, yeah, I'll give you yeah, for sure it. if it's good. Send us some hate mail. Put put it under um, what, what, smang it. Did you add smang it to the uh, to the uh, hate mail? N- not yet. Just use the contact <laughs> form. Don't don't go flipping out in chat. Be like, if I could only find a way to get a hold of you. If you're not, if you can't pass that, let's yeah. let, let, contact. Yeah. Let this <laughs> yeah. test. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of litmus test, we got a Patreon, patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. It's the best way to support us. Cause Creators, you get cool learn how to get started on Patreon. Join us for a live demo. Thank you. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> may, 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 maybe not. We're incapable uh, of learning. Indeed. Uh, but you're capable of uh, getting access to the pre-pre super shows and an extra hour of Linux Game Con. Linux <laughs> Game yes. Con cast? No, just straight up con. Linux Game Con. con! The Linux Game Con. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, we, 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 got the, we got the man boobies. Um, yeah, you can get access to the show notes. Uh, you can get access to our Discord channel. Uh, lots of cool stuff. You can even buy your way on the goddamn show if you really want. We got okay. we to thank, uh, gotta thank Vigilant Viking and Darkwing, uh, who are our latest Patreons. Motherfuckers, we got to drop it down right because Darkwing's been around for a long time. And Darkwing's like, yo, man, I, I want to strengthen I wanna strength this relation. Do you know what I remember about Darkwing? I remember one episode because. My childhood brain was like, the fuck is this? He went back in time because it was Darkwing with fucking dinosaurs. Mm. <laughs> this happened. I'm not because later in life, I wouldn't search this. Like, all right, wasn't doing the drugs back then. Oh, so, yeah. D- Darkwing Duck was, uh, was a bit of a trip. Dis- Disney after school cartoons. Man. Also, isn't that like uh, canonically known as like the worst game ever on the uh, Jaguar? Was dark Or was it? It was some game console. Somebody else tried you, you know, you know, what? I, I, I wouldn't not believe that, but I, I can't give right. you an answer one way or another. So I, I want to throw some love uh, his way. He uh, increased his pledge. He's now in the Holy Chicago Holes kicks ass. Chicago's kicks ass. Six six six. Happy, not evil when it does handstands and um, Fulgent Viking. 
has joined uh, Advisor. Advisor. <laughs> yeah. yeah, which is awesome, man. Because you know, I know sometimes it's tough for people, and like, like, hey, man, I, I can't burn the cash. Which is that's fine, you know. That's awesome. I get it, man. I trust me, I do. But we've had some people like walk in. We've very like, much appreciated stepping up the game. <laughs> like, hey, it keeps us going. If you like our brand of our shit, <laughs> Dragon Ball Goat Sea. Yeah, Dr- nope, Dragon Ball Goat Sea. <laughs> All right, all right let's, okay let's hang get on. i'm hang pretty on. sure that exists no, yeah exactly that, that we were gonna do the bet on that i was like animated or 3d i mean we can yes pro- we can probably pick yeah and, there's and probably it, a source filmmaker version of it too there, yeah. there, there are probably three versions each with director's cuts <laughs> right. let's be real <laughs> great beautiful people uh let's talk about some dolphins Make yeah. talk, so, uh, emulator uh, progress report of the week uh, starts right now with Dolphin. Yeah, so they actually have uh, the July, August, and September 2020 uh, progress reports all rolled up into one, and it is... Boy, that's a big one. Uh, yeah, they they go on detail into all of the improvements that they've been doing. There's been a lot of improvements for the Android version specifically, which was bad, why is it converting it things? <laughs> it needs to convert things because Android has its limitations. Why, why does it want to bring j- just in time into my relationship? Just in time is a big one because they were using, they had issues with their just in time uh, compiler and the cache that it used because it kept running out of cache. So uh, they, what they did was, I don't well, know. According to the does. people on Reddit that tell me a game runs fine, this is, this is perfect. I don't see a well, problem. Well, well, yeah. Well, well, the 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 interesting yeah. problem with that too is like with the N sixty four emulation where they had a JIT running inside a JIT and that just completely yes. fucked shit up. <laughs> oh, yeah, but with this one, they had um, they basically what they did to try and work around the cache running out. Uh, they just increased the size, but that wasn't a very good long term solution. So now they've decided to actually go in and fix it. Fuck so that wall. my question. Yeah, my question here is, uh, in the land of SSDs, you know, pretty fast SSDs and 32 gigs or 16 gigs even of RAM, wouldn't it be okay to just have the entire game in the just-in-time cache and just let it happen? Would you just, like, take a moment and just enjoy the Pixel Kitty? <laughs> that, that's the other one that I put in the notes because uh, that's the, the blurt cat from see, you uh, mean? Monster yeah. Hunter Try. Uh, the cat from Monster Hunter Try is, um, I didn't realize that the, uh, the Wii games were you know 480p. What? For the people watching at 144p, don't know what the fuck we're on about. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, 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 but no, but like, that's the thing. For the people who are watching 144p, at 144p, those people don't have computers that can stick the entire JIT cache on disc. So yeah, there needs to be some sort of optimization here. Um, so yeah, uh, they, they have a solution. We'll see how well it works. Uh, the, the big news here though, uh, they have free BSD support now. So, uh, games are coming to ruin your productivity, free BSD users. Oh boy. Okay. I'll be done with that, man. Uh, yeah, you're not safe anywhere. Do you, uh, I, I've, I've tangoed with <laughs> dolphin, man. I had like a quad core. Like last time I tangled with Dolphin, I was like, oh, this will clearly run. Is it still so heavily um, dependent on single thread? Yep. Uh, yeah. They were yeah. the ones who put out the uh, thing, I think it was like three weeks ago that we talked about, um, that they said that the Intel processors were still better for emulation. Wait, I'm sorry. 50, yes. uh, Hang on. 5090X. <laughs> yeah, was that before like uh, Dr. Sue walked out and just like <laughs> dropped it on the table? To be fair, that was yesterday. So. <laughs> Oh, so no, they, the, they know they it, uh, you know, with unreleased <laughs> processors, they don't have it. Intel's like, just keep on saying that. Right. Yes. <laughs> Man. <laughs> All right. Tell me about uh, DXVK. Well, they got a new version out, uh, 172. The ha- It has one thing that I'm super excited about. Baldur's Gate 3 fixes, man. I am so excited to pay $80 for that game. Uh, so, yeah, now you can... Larian. Right now, now you can now you can actually play the game and get past character uh, selection. Um, there was also a big DX9 regression that um, they fixed that has a wide impact on a v- large number of games. Uh, so that has fixed a lot of things. And uh, yeah, apparently AMD VLK, you know the proprietary driver that AMD yeah, provides, 
doesn't really implement the Vulkan API properly, so there are some issues they needed to work around. They did make a note saying that Marvel's Avenger, um, it's kind of working. It had some spurious crashes, but man, that game did exactly like I think everybody knew it was. It's like these aren't the regular people; they're like copies. Like soon as you like, close it, up, they didn't pay for the rights. It's like the likeness. scene from it's like the scene from Spaceballs where they capture their stunt doubles instead Dude. of like the actual guys. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> fucking Atlantic Rim is what it is, and it they just dropped off a cliff. I mean, it dropped like under a thousand players. But um, what I want to say about this is uh, Baldur's Gate Three. You're looking forward to that, aren't you? Oh, you have no idea, no idea. So, I, uh, how long do you think it's going to take? Because I was having a conversation earlier about um, early access. Which it was brought to my attention. Star Citizen. Year 8. Early access. Mm. Then was brought to my attention. Not one. Not two. But three fucking Star Wars films have been made and released in the time. Star Citizen has been in early access. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, ho- hopefully the time will result in it be- being better than those Star Wars movies. Well, a lot of the... Mo- mm-hmm. this was, that connection was brought into because... Um, Luke did some yeah. mocap work eight years ago. Yeah, they did. Like, just, I remember that. To redo that? <laughs> 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 maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Mm. But yeah, uh, it's out for your consumption. Hopefully, it'll be melded into a glorious egg roll or a proton release soon. What was can, our? Uh, what were our thoughts on like just cause? Because I've I've looked at the game several because it goes on like stupid. Like that, that's a bug. that's a fuck around simulator, man. That's I, well, like the ones that do work. I mean, is is there a game game in that too? Or there yeah, is like, a game game, but it is mostly focused around the fuck around bit. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, I mean, the the game the game is just missions which give you the impetus to fuck around some more and to figure out ways to fuck around to get to the objective but that's really what it's there for is like i'm gonna fly a plane and then hook shot onto another plane and then hook shot onto a building and hook shot onto the first basically plane. i'm driving a mini there's a helicopter doing a low flyby you hook shot onto that you hijack it then you crash it into a base that, it's, uh, it's, dude, it's, it's basically sounds, bionic yeah like it's, it's it's bionic commando gta man it's pretty sick i might have to play around with it i mean it definitely sounds like uh what does the wise sage once say some motherfuckers always try to ice skate uphill Sounds yeah. like that guy, but you know what? The, Fuck the, heroes. The, the, they, they got a they got a Part multiplayer two, mod for that the too. Sequel. Yeah. For heroes, yeah, it's a uh, free heroes of Mad Magic. Uh, they got a new version out. It's not a two. Uh, they've completely redone the AI, uh, which is kind of neat considering you know. Might and Magic 2 came out back in the 90s. Um, they've also cl- apparently cleared out 100 bugs for that release. It's a very specific number. Um, usually when I see that, I'm like, oh, so they just cleared out all the easy stuff and all like the game-breaking shit is still like filed as won't <laughs> fix. I don't, I don't know. Um, but they also have a new save game format, so uh, if you're going to upgrade to this version, your save will not be backwards compatible. I played a little bit of this back in the day. Um, it's... It was weird. I, I never really got into it as a kid, but I know it has a really, really big, like, diehard fan base. So it's good to see that, like, in terms of game preservation, this is being continually developed. Right. And they do make a point if you uh, <laughs> are currently, you get to download, like, some VC redistrib if you're running it on 32-bit Microsoft. I'm like, okay. Thing. Yeah. They're still, yeah, they're still making C, those? You need to have all of the uh, versions installed if you're hoping to run any kind of game. <laughs> I honestly, yep. I don't know. I do know I saw earlier this week somebody on, in the fart comments talking smack because they were talking about something being broken with Windows 10 and one of the tech subs. And he was like, oh, yeah, you don't run Windows 10. You stick with Windows 7. You don't upgrade like a punk. And isn't that EOL? Yep. Oh, it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so good, good luck running it on, like, modern hardware with, like, drivers and is it do you, okay under and over like we're talking like regular person we're not talking about like your great grandpa regular person somebody like is legitimately like you're not gonna trick me microsoft running xp yes I, it, I, xp I, is a bit of a hard sell this, this is, okay they're, they're legitimately running it this is their day in day out and it's not their retro battle station I know that you, there's like a few libraries in Portugal that are still running Windows XP for their public computers, which is. I I, I mean I, I you you got to think though like you're gonna have a hard time running this on like modern hardware, so it's got to be an old ass computer. Yeah, 
I didn't say it doesn't have to be a new computer. They, they could be the pitching um, Voodoo 2. Right, yeah. right, right. Oh. Robot racers from Auto Space. Where's Auto Space? Yes. Located? So, uh, you know, the, earlier we had a spell cart that totally looked like <laughs> a super text cart, and now we have another one. But this one seems to have a bit less textures. So it is a kart racing game uh, where you basically create your robot and away you go. It is. It follows the exact same uh, Super Tux and uh, Mario Kart formula. Like the low poly you said. I can listen to you, Grandpa. This reminds me of like Virtua Racing. A little bit. I yeah. played Virtua Racing. <laughs> I did too. Man, I had it on the Genesis because uh, I, I take that back. We rented it because it was like 120 pounds. <laughs> Back when you know, back when game rentals were a thing, you had yeah. you had a weekend yeah. to get as far as you could in that game. And... But even like the track selection uh, screenshot, I'm looking at that as like, yeah, that background looks very Tuxcarty. Uh, but yeah, it is on itch.io. It is available for Linux. You could just uh, download it. Whatever is uh, it? It's not a big game. It's uh, 31 megabytes. So yeah, no, you can absolutely just. It looks like a really old version of Super Tuxcard. Come on, <laughs> hey, it's made on Godot though. <laughs> Or Godot. Yeah, it is. That that's the big difference here is it is made in Godot. So that's good to see. I wish more people would use it. Um can't remember the name of that uh, 2D Castle uh, Metroidvania type of game that we threw chairs at. That was also made in Godot. I downloaded Something it. Light. I tried it. I took the Pepsi <laughs> challenge. Um it runs pretty decently. I read it in a little seven twenty P window because that's what it launched in. That's all the fuck says gonna give to it. Um <laughs> it had a couple of like performance hiccups of like uh, something was getting cached or rendered you know but then again i only have a little 2060 thread rubber but um as far as the way it controls it it it's a lot smoother and plays a lot smoother than that 30 fps video that they have on their web page um, um but like speaking of tux cart before they fixed it remember how uh like your uh contact with the ground and tux cart of old was just sliding around on a sheet of ice Yes. Sure. <laughs> Those days are back, baby, if you've missed them. <laughs> nice. Yeah, no, like I said, it looks like a very old version of Super Dark's card. But yeah, uh, on, I suppose, uh, to something that's a bit different, this is the Kestrel game engine. And uh, it's on GitHub. You can download it, you can build it. And the project itself is centered around uh, getting basically those old macintosh like classic macintosh games getting those I don't to work a in a multi-platform reference in this i'm gonna be upset <laughs> <laughs> it's uh castle not kestrel but yeah uh the <laughs> The, I, I, uh, I mean, the, I mean, there, there's, there's a, there's a Kevin Bacon esque way because the Kestrel room is for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Kestrel's in. the ship in FTL, which is inspired by the Millennium Falcon. So there you go. Ah, ah. No, <laughs> oh shit! Yes, uh, three Look degrees of separation yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, we, yeah. yeah I, uh, I, I Kevin Baconed it, man. <laughs> dude, dude, you just got you just pulled out like a fucking pro level. Well, actually, right there. <laughs> You're, Ah. Yep. <laughs> completely made up we, well actually but yeah Pedro uh, really. was doing this like amateur WWE slap fight and Jordan just came in man, and like I, I, I just smoking fucking shit behind him he's like yeah what's up just <laughs> made way tied need you both for the help and the fucking solar plexus yeah made up but yeah no it's, it, yeah. it's, it's, it's cool just, okay uh, my favorite thing right now Pedro wants with every fiber of his body to fucking argue at this point he really does not really he can't help himself. He's vibrating. <laughs> look, look, look at that. It's totally not added in post if either. If I wanted to argue that, I would have. I, <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I can't hear you over the vibrations. Yeah, They're too loud. Calm down, Flash. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck with the guy with the choice on. <laughs> I will always I'm win. not. <laughs> Again, that's my point. I'm Vibrate, damn it. <laughs> more, more, more vibrating, Pedro, man. No, but it, 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 it's cool. Uh, again, more, more game preservation stuff. There's a lot of these old, um, old Macintosh games that you know you can't run them on new Macs anymore because yep. you know f <laughs> fuck gaming on Macintosh. So now you can run them on Linux with an open source engine. That's what nice. are you talking about, man? It, yeah, People are going to look back thing. at current Making Macs them... right now and think of them as the good old days. Yeah, like and making the whole thing multi-platform and yeah, just whatever you can throw at it. 
it will run it and there's a bunch yeah like jordan said there's a bunch of those games out there right now that people just straight up can't play anymore mm. so yeah <laughs> I, I i do like that they don't have metal support but they also don't have vulcan support which is a little sad but no yeah, they're, two, they're 2d games <laughs> what, what, what do you want wrong, wrong hand i can't do it with the <laughs> all right ah uh, yeah so uh this next one is it, it, it's it's a little weird um, it's a little different man it is uh a little bit you ever, you ever want to like administer your kubernetes cluster in in minecraft because but now no, you but show me how <laughs> now you can yeah so um so yeah now they they have uh, they have a thing you can run it connects to your kubernetes cluster and it will represent the objects running in kubernetes as um what, what was it um pig pigs are pods cows are replica sets chickens are services and horses are deployments uh and you know it'll it'll just like show it'll populate um it'll populate the farm you little you set up with you know the horses pigs cows and chickens and i don't know it seems kind of neat at first but at the same time i kind of wish they went further right like I want to be able to destroy pods by killing pigs or chickens. I want to be able to like <laughs> set up deployments with redstone and like set up persistent volume claims and shit. I think this needs to go further than the 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 the, the process management thing they have going on here. It's still it's still really cool, but like the the potential man. Well, I mean, yeah. do you think they'll be able to add RTX support? Uh, no, because <laughs> Minecraft doesn't have RTX support. Yeah, it does. Uh, the uh, Windows version, the, the .NET version does. The ben, uh, Java ben, ben version Rock does it, not. It has, yeah, it has uh, just path traced support <laughs> that the community introduced. Yeah. But no, uh, Empty uh, uh, brought up the uh, PS Doom comparison in Discord uh, earlier in the week. And it is absolutely that's a very apt comparison because yeah it, instead of doom uh it's minecraft because minecraft is far more relevant nowadays and uh instead of being local processes they're kubernetes cloud containerized processes uh. <laughs> well yeah you, uh, poor, dude, poor baby too. has to run something in a docker <laughs> container <laughs> My heart you breaks do for need you, to then. start it from the container, uh, otherwise... Motherfucker, we are yeah. we're dangerously close to a generation <laughs> that only knows how to run shit from a Docker container. I'm, I mean, here's the thing, though. If you're running shit in Kubernetes, you're already running Docker, so... It's kind of the whole shit. about it, baby. <laughs> you absolutely can. Just did. <laughs> I'm not stopping you. <laughs> didn't didn't even stand a chance, baby. Uh, Burning Night, man. This is a good idea. This is what I like to see. Um... Somebody, what's his name? Um, Igor Dor Dorvachev. All right, let's go with that. That sounds great. He released a game, and you know it was a hipster pixel like Binding of Isaac minus the uh, Binding of Isaac part, but same idea. Released it on Steam, didn't get a big reception. Why? Well, it kind of looked like all the other ones that were out there. But and instead of taking his pixels and going home, he decided to release the source code for his game Burning Night. And it's available on GitHub. It is C Sharp. This thing started life in Java, but he's like, pay no attention to that. And, you know, it's all there. And you definitely see just reading through his posts on GitHub that he's like, don't give me too much shit about that, which I understand. You never want to share your code. I get that. I understand those feels. It can be embarrassing because you know, more than likely than not, you did some embarrassing shit. But at the end of the day, it works. That's all that matters. All the haters can go fuck themselves. They can submit a pull request. And you can ignore it. What well, I mean, I mean that 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 was, that was it, right? Like the guy says in this post that this game wasn't financially doing well on Steam. Uh, it became a lot of like, hey, lots of bug fixing and whatnot. Eventually, he lost the desire to maintain it. So I I really do like this trend of people releasing the sauce for their old games, especially if they didn't sell well, because at the very least, like it's something someone can take this game and work off it, or look at it as an example, or do whatever they want with it. Um, but the important thing is now that that knowledge is out there, people can use it, learn from everyone else's mistakes there's so much compartmentalization of knowledge you can especially take a in peek game it. i mean I, yeah. that's what i don't understand what what is the benefit especially single player games i'm just going to throw make this as an easy very easy game example what's the benefit for not releasing the source for any game that's like has, but my ip brah it's my code, IP. Not, not your uh, right you can go buy the fucking assets <laughs> like anybody else mm -hmm. <laughs> 
I don't know. But, there, there, there seems oh, to open, be well, open source is communism, man. That's just how it is. There seems to be besides you know the whole Microsoft. Yeah, open source is communism. Uh, the, hey, Epic, um, here's a great idea. Force every developer who releases on your platform to release the source code for their game after five years. Sweeney, it's a brilliant idea. Yeah, after you pay them like $2 million each? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you suck on the teeth, <laughs> you, you make with the code. <laughs> it would actually be a sound investment, but I don't think companies see it like that because my IP, bro. My IP. Listen, that dude's got apples to eat. <laughs> and PS5s to sell. Shut up. I like Sony <laughs> and Microsoft because we're in partnership. Apple, bad. Because <laughs> they don't partner with I'm us. I'm pretty sure uh, Microsoft please, already cut them a deal. Please, please. I know we have some animators uh, and friends and family at the show. We, we need the James Hatfield fire bad metallic ops but with sweeney with apple bad give me you give me fire give me that bitch episode <laughs> yes we, we need the epic thing and he can ride around in his little rocket car <laughs> shit rides itself i didn't put any thought in it i was like holy shit that'd be easier <laughs> yeah. to do what, what 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 it's, it's it's just like the tissue like uh yogurt video where like instead of like flying away on a pigeon they just no fly no no, rocket no, car. no okay no, you, okay you see like sweeney's gonna be lars <laughs> Uh, okay. He's gonna have the chubby. He's gonna like kick in like you know uh, a random lug, where everyone's playing like Rocket League. And, like oh, so he just follows the music video and it's Tim Sweeney There's instead no of music. Lars. Where okay. are we getting this music video from? There is no music video. <laughs> what am I thinking? No, of it's, then? it's it's the Tim Sweeney <laughs> cover of Enter Sandman, uh, I guess. <laughs> which I'm positive exists. <laughs> Halloween Enter Sandman um, video. You know the guy, light house light guy. Oh yeah, yeah. Internet knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, go check that out. That was actually well done. Introducing, can we call it Vercadia? Vercadia, open source desktop VR metaverse. Greetings, I'm a member of the team. We've been doing a lot of work. It's a pubic release. Um, we've decided to start with the Linux community since currently we're targeting the more technically minded users first, which is code for Shit's got a broke right now, yo. Um, it's a concept. What is it? Well, it's a metaverse. It's 3D chat, scripting capabilities, no fixed purpose. Um, you've seen Second Life VR chat, whatever the hell Neo okay. VR is. All right, that's <laughs> thing. Just like Reddit provides base. Da, 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 da. Here's a screenshot. What it looks like. We're looking at a screenshot. It's a Look, furry. Yeah, there's of course, a furry. <laughs> naturally, hundred percent. You knew that was coming. Um, I would have guessed that. Where did it come from? Well, you know. The makers of Second Life, they, they left the company some years ago and they formed High Fidelity, Spiritual Successor, da, 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 da. They shut it down in January. The company still exists. So they started a new project, confusingly kept the same name, despite being extremely fortunate, whatever. At the end of the day, they ended up controlling the project. They've rebranded it uh, with a more confusing name because that's smart. Something about COVID and there's a GitHub. What makes it special? Linux, guys, we've said that like 11 times already. Do you get it? Portable, it's open source, decentralized, distributed. It's like a list of shit. That's going to make this just not usable in any meaningful way. VR support, because you know where VR lives, motherfuckers, on Linux. You got that right. Uh, both of us. Un unrestricted. So, okay, this is my problem. Unlike, you know, Second Life, we no limits on anything. Okay, so it's completely unhinged, like off the fucking rails so, so listen, hey hey hang on. Pe people people who bought vr headsets need something to do with them if they bought them for linux right like so this is this is it provides that if 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 you if you want to if you want to like dick around in like blood orgy simulator 2019 is that that's not going to be the problem it, it's going to be the uh Illegal in every fucking country known to earth prawn dungeon simulator 2019 mm. immediately mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the second oh, you have no, no restrictions except yeah. for that one. You know well, what? Yeah. You know what? Ninety nine percent of the people can be cool, <laughs> but it's gonna get that one percent that's like they're gonna go there. Hundred percent. Yeah. That won't take yeah. any time at all. Because <laughs> you you're gonna be dealing with the people that look at Second Life and go, That's too restrictive. Yeah. <laughs> what well, uh, people who can pretend to have sex while uh their avatar is an airship? No. <laughs> uh, are wait, are, are wait, you wait, telling wait. me no, you no, don't no, want to no. fuck an airship? Yeah, exactly. Keep, you, keep you, you don't play going. guns at Do Icarus. Do not tease me like that. <laughs> you don't play guns at Icarus and you say, damn, I just want to fuck that ship. Is that good life? 
I want to be like the Rocketeer, but with more sexy airship time. <laughs> but the rocket is my penis. <laughs> That's the thing, man. Let's go check out their website, see what they got going on. Um, do they have a website yet? There's scre- oh, more screenshots. Let's go to screenshots. That's there are better. more screenshots. <laughs> there are an imger. <laughs> so imger. can you just like make the worlds? Um, yeah. There's, uh, oh, that NLP. is part of the point. Yeah, basically, uh, you... Besides creating okay, your own yeah, avatar, yeah, you can on, also create really, content. Really, really, we got the Star Trek uniform. MLP. Yeah. The Star Trek uniform, mm-hmm. there's a pony, there's a furry, there's okay. the anime character. Real question. There's Real question. I want to be the robot. seagull. Motherfucker, I want to be the boat. I want to know who the boat is. <laughs> oh, the old dad? That's the name of the boat, so I guess that... Yeah. <laughs> Startup Asia X, and... Ah, people, we are gathered here today with my what, parrot... What, what, an eye robot. And yeah, what, what, wasn't that dude in like a crazy frog video? The dude on the very right. I guess. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, I genuinely, I wish them the best of luck. I just don't understand. Like they, they're clear. Yeah, Vercadia, they, it's the first link. It, <laughs> they yeah, have yeah. clearly walked out and said, "We do not have a fucking business plan right now. Right now, it's purely fuck all. Let's see if we can get something going." So, yeah, I want to go to Vercadia.com. Go check it out. Make some friends and uh, experience possibly abject horror on your first experience. And you don't need a VR headset, but yeah, you can have that experience if you do have one. <laughs> um, I expect Scott to give us a report next week on the show. <laughs> no, MT, I know MT yeah, has a VR headset or had, but so. But here's 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 the thing though: they're gonna go in and they're never gonna come out. They're gonna cipher. They're gonna cipher this shit, man. Like I said, I expect Scott to give us a full report next week. <laughs> and, and then dive back into the Matrix? No, I'm All trying right. to throw left for Durant. Um uh, If there's no Scott, we're always going to win. I see. All right, well, coming up next. I don't know. I don't have an art of rally pun. Something, something, Sun Tzu. Fuck something, something. Yeah, fuck it. You can just tell me to do my work. All right, do your work. I don't know what your work is. <laughs> Put down that hot dog. Never. Vote.linuxgamecast.com. Vote on some fucking show titles. Yeah, baby. Beep, Beep goes Moose goes still in the lead. <laughs> hot dog with uh, honey mustard inside like a proper baguette. It It's so nice. <laughs> Need some mashed potatoes, man. I honestly prefer like the really thin um, chips. <laughs> Sexy airship. Yeah. All right. I'll, so. I'll give uh, Dragon Ball Goats a <laughs> vote. Old dragons are wizards. All the dick physics with some tentacles. Hey, Matthew, did you hear that uh, Space France is setting up a program to uh, give. Uh, Free cannabis for medical. It's going to be part of the like, government program. You're going to get a uh, space weed from France if it's for a <laughs> medical condition, like your back glaucoma. I have a. I definitely have a hard time seeing out of my back. I think I need some prescription weed. I'm just saying. Actually, speaking of coming out of my back, I'll be back. <laughs> That's code for poop. <laughs> no, it's zip fucking time. That's for his OnlyFans. It's like he's smeared with mayo. Yeah, no, people have been doing a very good job with the bank suggest this week. A round of applause. I think we're tangled with them. Oh, 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 you're talking about. Sure. I was like, what the fuck? Are we? I'm gonna. The emulator, okay. And, uh, my brain's in a couple of places during the show. Most of them not here. <laughs> I thought that was my problem. Yeah, no, I want you to have that problem and switch this shit and be on the show. <laughs> I 
I don't give you guys shit for being distracted because it bothers me. I just need backup. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, no, my uh, my brain is often thinking about a number of different things that are completely unrelated to what I'm doing, which is why I can't multitask. I just can't. I can't. Oh, I <laughs> I'm already multitasking a lot in here. <laughs> you know, um, I, I honestly think I would not mind sitting your ass down in this chair and watching you short circuit. <laughs> I mean, for the first uh, several... <laughs> weeks yeah uh, probably <laughs> nope. uh -uh. you only get four hours of practice a week while you're doing it. <laughs> yeah that would take some time <laughs> you gotta do it live though no instruction manual by the way you gotta write it yourself <laughs> and you don't uh, under Linux I mean yeah, this is kind of the whole boy. <laughs> and there's not a big giant button that says do thing. <laughs> Wait, what about a big giant butt? <laughs> this is my one thing I just can't, I just genuinely can't stand is like, how do you do that? And like, hey man, yeah, check it out. Here, I'm going to take time and I'm explain to you. No, I mean, like, I want, I want to, I want to click on a thing that does that. No, I want that one liner that I copy pasted into the terminal. Oh no, 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 no guilty of that. <laughs> this motherfucker wants like a click button. Like, Can I just install that with Pulse Audio? What do you mean? I got. Oh, I don't compile anything. I've been using Lux for twenty years. Uh, I've never compiled anything. Like, a, I don't fucking believe you. Um, I'm a bit jealous if that's true. No, I just, <laughs> no. I mean, if you're gonna make some shit up, come up with better ammunition. Than that. I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> Also, I'm still very active on Twitter. I have Linux audio searches when people are talking out of their ass. <laughs> I need beer and I need to pee. I'll be back. Old man Venice show up. It's Santa Ven. I'll be like, so what exactly is the problem you're experiencing? Poof. Gone. I was just talking shit on the internet. Jordan, what are your favorite searches on Twitter? The world needs to know this. My favorite searches on Twitter? Your most common searches, I should say. Maybe not necessarily your favorite ones, but the ones you most commonly apply to keyboard. I don't think, I don't really do a lot of Twitter searches unless I'm looking for like something specific. Um, Are you a stranger to TweetDeck? I use TweetDeck. I just don't search. How do you a use TweetDeck without certain? Then why do you use TweetDeck? Scheduled tweets. That's. So you have like your timeline, your notifications and schedule. Do you, I have a monitor dedicated to tweet deck, man. I'm just not that big a Twitter user. I, I don't know. There's a bunch of searches for like news and shit for these shows. What do you search for though? What do I search for? What, um, is, what have you searched out? What, do, what is the moderated Twitter feed? The one that you've custom tailored just for Jordan's Fong look like. Um, comic book com shit, D and D. Comic book shit, RPG shit. Uh -huh. Lots, lots of indie game design stuff. Um, comedy writers, comic book writers, musicians. I fall, I like. Mm. Yeah. Web comics that I still follow. Ah, uh, web comics. That was a uh, different time. Yeah, just. I don't know. It's just filled with crap that I'm interested in. If I like something or I like an account, I'll follow it. But isn't aren't you supposed to only follow stuff that pisses you off? No. I thought that was the right way to you, dude. Google, get fucked. Google it. Does Google do this shit to you? It is on a tear lately. It goes through cycles of where it, they know engagement is higher with shit that makes people angry what makes everyone angry universally politics and it is a b testing like you, you get like the uh do you get that on your android devices i, I turn them off i'm Once about to because every now and then like it's been good it's been good for a couple of months it goes through cycles like a tech shit tech shit tech shit now it's like let's talk about politics i'm like no and it, uh, uh, what about these Paul? no if you were like this Okay, what about these politics? Uh -huh, that'll get, no, and it won't stop. I mean, I don't know. I like staying politically informed because 
I think it's good to like I don't know what's going on. We can't and, affect it. We can't, but like I would rather it's 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 gnosis versus ignorance. At this point, I would rather know than not know. Yeah, I've passed that. <laughs> It's like man, this, and like, this is some, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I keep us like. I, I can I can vote in the country that I live in, so I try to stay informed and I try to vote for people who best align with my particular view set. Because otherwise, well, you know, then that person yeah, otherwise, who is otherwise, like, like super cool and awesome, which they legitimately are, and you actually get them into office. But order for them to be effectual, um, not completely ineffectual, and like whatever government parliament system that you have, they got to cut some nasty ass fucking deals, and they become corrupt in another part of the system. I, I mean, when, when it repeats, I, I, I mean, yeah. So at the also, same time, my favorite whatever. thing is if we get a good one in, they get killed. <laughs> That's true, but you know. Pol politics isn't a fucking chauffeur, it's the bus. You don't complain that the bus doesn't take you exactly where you need to go, you get on the one that takes you closest to where you need to go, and figure out your way from there. No, I just walk. Yes, usually by walking. The point, the point is, people, if, I don't, I don't know, if you, if you <laughs> don't stay informed, they put out legislation that directly impacts you, and, you know, you could have done something about it. We just moved to another country. Yeah, it's the everyone can just pick up and move to another country. That's they can. really financially feasible. Yeah. Yeah. You should vote just for the sake of uh, being able to bitch that the person you voted for didn't win. Nah. <laughs> That's my reason for voting. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. This defeatist can't affect anything. Attitude really just lets people, the people who got into power, do whatever they want. So I say make it hard, as hard for them as possible. Right. Even even, even if they do as you're bitching, yeah. vote. It is definitely a feel good mechanism that I think everyone should take part in that wants to. Uh, I think. Uh, if we did a better job of educating people about civics and you know how government systems work, man, what they is, might have. Well, why do you have such a hard on for Honda, dude? I mean, you can get like, you can get things other than civics. You can get like a Miata. <laughs> I thought we were done talking <laughs> about Mazdas. <laughs> There's a bunch of JDM cars. We don't have to talk about Mazdas. We can talk Mitsubishi. We oh, can talk. We're about to uh, talk about cars. Where do you, this is a warm up. <laughs> this is a pre civic. <laughs> Get a civic? Is there no? There's no. I didn't play it long enough to find out. <laughs> I don't think there's a civic. There's the van that the dude lived off of for a year. <laughs> for two yeah, years. I crashed. I crashed into it and got an achievement for it. Uh, yeah, if you find a van, uh, you unlock it, and you can use it. <laughs> I couldn't find a. Uh, wait, was that like and in free room mode? Yes. Yeah. It's oh, a, okay. And, so that's and, playing the game. Well, so. <laughs> So what 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 happened was I I hit it and I'm like wait if I hit other things do I unlock it There's a helicopter there What happens if I drive into the I helicopter and nothing wrong. God damn I would, <laughs> See that would have made me more angry <laughs> That's bullshit Don't put a fucking helicopter in there You can't be the helicopter I mean you're already playing as a helicopter That's part of the camera That's is. what I'm saying It wouldn't be <laughs> a fucking stretch <laughs> Like oh we gotta redo the entire fucking No Right. Okay, let's see if we have that and doop, doop, doop. Okay. Yeah, that, that's legit. <laughs> the same engine runs about as well, but <laughs> I mean, I mean, at least BattleTech had textures. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, compared to this, yes. Um. <laughs> oh, oh, I had get. Uh, hmm. Boop. Maybe. Hey. All right. Uh, my turn to go grab a drink. And uh, we're going to talk about Jordan's favorite topic. Pine Great trees. <laughs> I'm so, do you have a lot of pine trees? Well, you don't have a lot of trees in Toronto. Um, I mean, it depends on where you go in Toronto. But yeah, there's lots of pine trees. I didn't know, like, what is, is it? A lot of conifers? Yeah. Very, very coniferous. Coniferous. 
It's like, oh no, is he coniferous? <laughs> no, I think he only eats cheese. <laughs> <laughs> he lacks toes and tolerance. <laughs> they taste a bit funny, to be honest, Scott. You meet the nicest people on a Honda? If I see someone driving down the road on a Honda... <laughs> I ask questions. Whether or not they're nice is probably not one of them, but... <laughs> ah, CRV. Accord over the Civic. Uh, no, see, one of the things that I would totally and ironically drive is the uh, Civic Type R. <laughs> Someone did, gave me one of those. Just drive it. It's like, yes! Did you talk about cheese too much? There <laughs> were jokes about uh, being coniferous. I'm just wondering what made Jordan hungry. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> The 190 Cosworth. That's a Mercedes. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I drive the square bodied Mercedes any day. <laughs> Mercedes are a pain in the ass to fix, especially the 70s era ones. Their mechanical fuel injection can die in <laughs> all the fires of somebody who had to work on that shit in the summer times. Yeah, no, the uh, Ford Cosworth, I would very much like uh, the Escort, would very much like to drive one of those at one point. Apparently, here in the UK, at one point, uh, they were <laughs> the easiest cars to uh, steal, <laughs> because the door locking mechanism was a joke. <laughs> well, up until very recently, man, like, unlocking... Just didn't take much. Uh, I saw um, a dude long ago. Uh, it was uh, one of my dad's uh, co workers at mm -hmm. the uh, Republican National Guard in Portugal. Uh, and he basically uh, just went up to one of the cars with a tennis ball with a little hole cut in it. I saw it that video and lock. I also saw that video debunked. <laughs> That was IRL. <laughs> Admittedly, it was a pretty old uh, Nissan Patrol, I think. The SUV. Um, it just went... <laughs> Alright, it's open. <laughs> just depending on the body gap, you could do it with a shoelace. Pretty fucking easy. <laughs> if you're unfamiliar with that, look up shoelace, unlock. That'll get you sorted. <laughs> Where'd Jordan go? I don't know, but he got up and walked away. <laughs> Is he pooping? <laughs> I thought he did that last... The last intermission. So, was that second breakfast? No, that's what I thought was originally a fart, but turns out to be a poop, but it's wedged up in there, so I need to give it some time. <laughs> you have to birth this one naturally. Dude, yeah. Dude, I want that epidural. <laughs> give me the drugs. I want them. No, you blow your ass out. <laughs> that's the plan. All right, kids, let's do this. All right. All right, let's get that. 
Ja. Did it. Click, clock, tick, tock. In three, two, one. Welcome back to the Chairquisition, where apparently we drive around in circles. You can and take a poop. Look, look, at, look at tapes, I guess. Sure. I wish I could take a poop. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this week we're taking a look at the Art of Rally by Fun Selector done on the Unity engine. You can pick it up for about twenty four ninety nine US. What is it? Race in the golden era of rally. Drive iconic cars from the sixties to Group B on challenging stages through stylized environments inspired by real world locations. Will you master the art of rally? Uh, we got to thank uh, Fun Selector for sending us some keys uh, so that we can take a look at that. Let's get into it again. Once once again, because Pedro. Determined to speak first has rated this game higher than this us, so. for, for the end of days. This is, will be a common thing. Pedro will find some redeeming until we get to the one game that I just down. <laughs> it, it makes like but, six folders in your home directory. Yeah. <laughs> see what we, what we need to do is like hold our chairs until right before we go time. Yeah. Ooh. I usually mm. put it there. I'm usually the first one to yeah, write my bit. You're, you're just throwing three down for safety. Yeah. Go either way. It's it's a safety but, yeah. chair. The um uh, over here on KDE Neon, it launched out of the box with the Ryzen 7 3700 X into GTX 1080. It barely holds 53 FERPs at 2560 by 1440. Listen, man, with everything on 11. Pink is an expensive <laughs> color to render. It's not real. Yeah, clearly. But uh, the yeah, this isn't exactly a graphical juggernaut, so I do wonder where all that performance is going. The DualShock Four worked out of the box, no issues, and uh, trust me when I say that you will want to use a controller because the keyboard uh, controls are bad. They're bad. How much time uh, did you I play trying to run people over? Be honest. I fucking uh, not I a whole lot through, because I, I flipped through that crowd. they just dodge. Yeah, <laughs> I I want to say I got one, but I don't have video evidence. Yeah, but yeah, no, I play uh, Need for Speed World with a keyboard and I play Dirt Rally for a lot of a long time with the keyboard. And those games are perfectly fine. This ain't maybe, you know, if I had the steering wheel, the pedals and the shifter, uh, it'd be even better than with the controller. But at that point, I'd be pretty annoyed that there isn't a cockpit or like top of the hood uh, type of view. No, that that that's the the one that you're looking at. The video version's all you get. That's the closest you can get, and I suppose that brings me into the fun, which you know, it, mechanically speaking, it does a very good job of presenting you with the challenge to drive cars that go from understeer to overseer and back to understeer very quickly in the exact same turn. That's a fancy it's, way of saying the shit fish tails, all of them. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I've. Honestly, never driven any of these cars at any kind of speed IRL, so I most certainly tuck it out of my ass. The closest I got was driving a actual uh, Austin Mini in Portugal, uh, in the countryside, dodging some trees, admittedly going faster than I should have, but did I did the, it successfully. Uh, police ever recover it? <laughs> did you find the tapes? The police never got involved, thankfully. Uh, but yeah, no, I, so, you know, since that is my experience and I went into Dirt Rally with that same experience in mind and I played with the Mini and I liked that a lot. So I saw the Mini uh, in this particular game and I saw, well, an opportunity to maybe at least learn the game by something that was easy to drive. Nope. That car uh, being the one uh, front-wheel drive car that I could see in the whole game is just stupid. I, contrary to every other racing video game up to this point, uh, the, the one front-wheel drive car is impossible to drive around at any kind of speed and make the turns you with any kind like of reliability. Cars are different. <laughs> no, that's the thing. Even the rear wheel drive cars in this game, like this BMW that's on video right now, so much PMW. easier to drive. Also, so how many times easier. did that make you think that the fucking game like dropped out of full screen? Right, a yeah. couple of times, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But yeah, the um, I could have actually put in the extra time to learn uh, how to you know 
drive all the cars in this game but honestly when i'm stuck with the helicopter view the whole time and i can't either have like the close-up of the rear of the car or the cockpit view or the hood view honestly i feel like my immersion is taking a bit of a hit because i don't ever feel like it yeah i'm driving this car no i just feel like oh i'm just some asshole on the internet that's sitting down uh playing a video game it's like spy hunter got hold of the watercolors it is <laughs> and uh i get that maybe you know having the camera limitation be like that it's an artistic choice like it is with uh making the one for uh forward wheel drive car uh completely uncontrollable <laughs> to put it lightly uh it is an impressive game especially given that it's a one person job uh, and if you read into the story of how a uh, fun selector spent a year two years driving around the u.s uh developing the game from a back of a van effectively uh, while learning everything that he could about rally it's like yes that's very impressive and you managed to make a very uh Made considerable game. game uh but it the the big problem is it it's not fun well the racing is not fun the free roam bit i actually enjoyed i enjoy the free roam a lot i might actually go back and just go around doing all of the free roams in all the different places but that w that's where i found my enjoyment because the actual racing that all that could get was a resounding meh out of me so it gets two chairs yeah, so uh, I, I guess I'll go next because mine's really short and sweet. Uh, on Fedora 32, 64-bit with the uh, R9 3900X. Don't got that 5950X because I'm a peasant, apparently. Yeah, man. Uh, How do you expect to play this with such a chump-ass car, man? I mean, I mean, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, with the, with the 1080 Ti, it only holds about, like, it struggles to hit, like, 50 frames a second at UHD. Uh, it's a lot better at 1080p. Uh so you're probably going to want to be playing that in uh, in reduced resolution if you have a UHD display like myself or Ven or Pedro. Um, the controls are fine, I guess. Yeah, everything fucking fishtails like crazy. Uh, I just assume that's just how these cars drive because I don't drive real cars. I don't know how to operate motor vehicles good. Come on, man. You so, got to take over a bus one day to see how it feels. What? <laughs> just, just hijack a bus like Keanu GTA Reeves, style? Man. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, the, it's it's actually kind of pretty in a minimalist sort of way. I kind of dig the textureless appearance. Uh, it gives it kind of a relaxing look. Um, but that pop-in, though, man, it makes the Nintendo Switch Pokemon games look like they load all the resources in an effective manner. The pop-in and the pop-out. It'll pop stuff out of the camera just because, oh, you can't see that anymore. No, I can yeah. still see it. Oh, yeah, no, it pops it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it, it's it's bad. It's like not even from a distance. It's shit directly next to you will yeah. pop in. Um, but yeah, fun wise, I mean, it's it's pretty boring. I mean, so when you get, you get into the game, you have to like it. It does the thing where like, oh, set your options, blah blah blah, which is I don't know. I'd rather just have a menu to let me do that. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna miss. <laughs> um yeah i mean at, at first it, dro it drops you into their tutorial which is just like a free room where you can drive around and look for tapes or take photographs or find letters like donkey kong um and yeah once you get tired of that you get you hit quit and you're like oh there's actually like a racing game in here too okay uh you you, you trip me up their game uh and the racing um I guess it's it's racing. I don't know. I'm going to defer to Ven or Pedro on this because as someone who does not really like racing games, this isn't doing anything stunning to like, I don't know, change my opinion on it. Uh, it yeah, like, like this, this looks pretty, but I mean, I'm not really enjoying driving around. Uh, it's not really giving me anything. It could use some blue shells. That's mm. for sure. One chair. <laughs> All right. So, um... I, I can't be like the bad guy. It was a great game for now. Let's, let's talk about how it ran over here. Um, I'm going to say out of the bad, um, this game is a very late entrant in the 2020. How the hell does it perform? So bad awards. <laughs> um, we have a 2060 and I, I, I understand my limitations. I wasn't trying to run this thing at UHD. I was like, Hey, I'll do it at 1080. Like the peasant I am. Nah, at 1080 on high, I was rocking like maybe a solid 43 to 50 if I was lucky, depending on what shit was popping up on the screen at the time. 
If I had to roll back the graph, this graphical juggernaut that we're all seeing, admittedly, I like the look of it. I like the art style, but I had to dial it back to minimum, medium, in order to maintain 60 plus. It's about 60 to 90. Excellent controller. Out of the box. It rumbled. It did the rumble dance. Good on that. I like to see that, which I was able to play. But we're going to talk about the fun because, I'm going to be honest with you, like how this game starts, as my colleagues have said, you just get dumped into this free roam thing, man. Like, what the fuck's going on? What's got, what am I supposed to, apparently I was supposed to be able to find a van and helicopters that I couldn't fly. I didn't know that. I spent eight minutes going, what the fuck's the point of, I would have just returned the game right then. But I couldn't do that. Could do that. I also, um, I started it again and found, hey, look, there is a game, kind of like Jordan, behind here. And uh, well, let's get into this. Not a huge rally fan, but I got to give it a try, man. I was giggling a little bit, man, with these like early 60s uh, uh, rally cars that were just like, poof, 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 just like spitting with the backfires. Like they had ALS. That's like the anti lag system for turbos, which they didn't fucking have. That was, that, that was funny. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but okay, whatever. Now, this does come from the creator of the top-down, untextured drifting game, Absolute Drift. Well, he's created a top-down, untextured drifting game, and that's what we have here. That's what you're seeing in front of you. If you're listening, you're sliding around on a little track. You may know, as I said, man, I'm a huge fan of arcade racing. Hard Rally should be right up my alley because it's... Based on moon physics, best I can tell. Now, alas, um, I tried. You know, I put almost an hour into this, and I just couldn't find a way to make it entertaining. I try not to have a bad time with any game. I sit back, and we're, we're going to make ourselves laugh, have some fun, break it in some unique way. Didn't happen. Um, even with, like, regular rally games, like Dirt, the original Dirt. We have a copy of that on Linux. It's native. Not a huge fan of it, but with Dirt, I could understand. Stand it. I could understand. I can see how somebody can get addicted to that series because even if you're not terribly into, you know, rally racing or, um, yeah, inside dirt, there's like a car management sub game. It's there to be played, you know, and like you can just modify every last little thing. This, this is like you slide from what you're seeing Pedro do slide from A to B, you get a new car, repeat, learn the new car, slide from A to B, get a new car, repeat. Now, I do need to point out that this is $5 more than dirt. And, you know, Art of Rally is, uh, oh, I don't know if it's on the same level. Pedro, you're, you're my racing fam. Where would you stack this? This comes across as like, uh, I think, Jordan, did you say a Zen game? Yeah, a little <laughs> bit. Like, especially with the free roam segment where like you're just looking for stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it feels, it feels like kind of a chill out game. I like could that's see what, that, man. Um, yeah, and clearly the free room, at least for me, it that's where all the fun went into. It's like, oh, you just get to explore. You get to drive around. You don't really have to care about the physics because it's free room. You're not racing against anyone. You're not racing against the AI. You're just running around. That's fine. That's great. I like that. <laughs> well, I did what I could with it. Um, I'm going to say at the end of the day, um, Thanks, man. Uh, I'm glad you made a game. You did a fuckload more than the three of us did. And, and uh, yeah, <laughs> thanks no, again for the review, copy. And I'm it's not a about, bad game at all. It. Pedro got muted. Um, seems to have, you know this game has found an audience, which I think is good because you go look on the Steam page and the review page. A lot of people really dig it. That makes me happy, man, because people can see this. I might not get it, but other people like it's my jam, man. Maybe they are zinning out to it. Maybe they've always wanted to. Um, rally race from the view of a helicopter that's cool. maybe maybe they just want s smooth living because no textures well and uh, <laughs> well maybe they have like a 3090 too so they could do it at uhd yeah but it's not very smooth because the frame rate currently <laughs> well between that and the smooth <laughs> I found, operator uh, at the end of the day it's just got, it didn't have any depth to it you know this is it this is it this is like drive between the lines it's paint between the lines the game and learn how each car slides in a slightly more or less fucked up way than the previous one. And um, that just made it unnecessarily difficult. I, I didn't have a fun time with it, man. But again, I, I'm glad some people dig it, and it's there, and people seem to like it. But yeah, yeah. not 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 my cup of rally. No, no, nor nor I. Like I I, I don't know. Usually, you, I'm not one for like adding gimmicks to games. But yeah. 
I, I guess the racing is definitely rather lackluster, and you know, just I don't, I don't know. It's it doesn't really do it for me. Here's there, there's like a, there's a very narrow like scope of racing games that I can I think enjoy. With this is rally games because it's it's all time trial. I I mm. want like rally combat where there's other people on the dirt. Sort of, sort of like, <laughs> sort of like burnout, where like part of the part of the racing game is you want to destroy your other competitors. All right, because yeah. we're just racing against other people's times. So like maybe I I get more motivated even if there's like a ghost. Yeah. Like, okay. If there's a, a ghost, ghost, so right. you can a spoopy ghost. Try and improve uh, yourself. Yeah. Cool. Well, it, it's a spoopy game. This is that's part of. See, look, we're, we're keeping. <laughs> they're the they're, they're scared. They're running. <laughs> they're invisible <laughs> ghosts in this game, though, so they're even more scary. <laughs> <laughs> all, still played by Patrick Swayze, though. All of them. <laughs> They're all dragons. Uh, all right, coming up next, we're going to talk about what Patrick Swayze would look like as a dragon and make some fun fan art. Now we're going to do some. Can, can I be a Swayze penny? No. Somebody start humming Unchained Melody so we can get taken down. <laughs> mm. Ooh. I started to realize that I really enjoyed uh, racing games with Sega Rally on the Saturn. That was like, oh yeah, no, I'm into this. And then I unlocked the uh, the uh, Luncia Stratus and all of a sudden it's like, oh. <laughs> and then I uh, googled how to, <laughs> in the arcade cabinets, how to unlock the Stratus. <laughs> So I'd always have a bit of a crowd around me because it's like, <gasps> it's playing with the Stratus on the arcade. <laughs> yeah, I've just never got into early games. I don't like, uh, I don't like sim games. Not because, I mean, I'd rather be Driving. I did Auto X and I did Rally Cross, but I only did Rally Cross twice because don't no fuck up your car. Um, Auto X, you could just swap out your tires. Um, but like simulation games, like as soon as you start getting to like the wheels and the pedals, I mean, it's no different than like flight sticks and shit, though, right? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> the the Hotas systems. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we, and I, I do want like a Logitech G27 or G29 with a shifter because I like that stuff. I just don't have a no. place to put them. <laughs> you you got to be like the dude on, um, there's this guy on Twitch. Uh, shit, dude, if you're watching, I'm sorry if I can leave your damn channel. Um, he's building a wheel from scratch. Mm. All right. <laughs> he's like started writing the code for it. And he's like manually building the wheel and is, is, is he gonna like take the the wheel out of like an old car and set that already up has or, uh, oh nice i think he had a new <laughs> yeah. wheel though no he's gonna like do the uh button create all that yeah mm. they'll make nice. it so uh that's been interesting he's he's definitely part of my background noise what what do you have for background noise during the day jordan um music Actually, uh, for the past week, um, I found out that Team Four Star did like a commentary for all the DBZ episodes. So I've been going through that. Mm. That's a good like twelve hours of just talking. <laughs> Get out of office noise, man. Yep. Um, for a while, it was uh, stream D and D games. Um, it's a difficult <laughs> balance because it's going to be yeah. something that you don't find offensive that you're kind of interested in, but not so interested that. Would absolutely yeah. lock it and focus on it. Yeah, that that's that's kind of the the, yeah, the, the balance yeah. strike. It's like some some something that like you can stand listening to, but something that you're not gonna pay attention to either. Pedro Pedro's as much as fucking porn up. I said. Just <laughs> flat out. That's all it is. Yeah. You see the one guy that actually lives with a uh, life partner the whole time. I live porn up on screen. <laughs> Uh, I just go through my YouTube subscriptions, which is mostly tech channels, and set them all Porno, in the, uh, yep. the queue, Street and porn. away we go. <laughs> what I you? recently unsubscribed from uh, Bitwit because Bitwit. What? Oh, I don't, I, 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 I don't. Your content's not my thing. Sorry. <laughs> Too technical for you. That's the thing. He's not technical. 
at all. <laughs> he talks about computer boxes. <laughs> He, oh, speaking, uh, shows speaking of. people how to. Oh, I have all access to all of this stuff, and I can build an awesome computer. Uh huh. That it. Uh, okay. Sp spe <laughs> speaking of, uh, did y'all see the new thing Ahoy put out? With the what? Who? What? Ahoy! The oh the um, retro. Yeah. Retro Ahoy. Yeah, the, yes. Oh. Yeah. The uh, <laughs> uh, big buck. Uh, talking about uh, PC game boxes. How long is it? Like an hour. Okay. Or minutes? I'll watch it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, he does very good stuff. Mm -hmm. I liked his uh, red barrels, red exploding barrels one. <laughs> oh yeah, no, g g generally that's that's a good listen, and he's got like he's got like the good narrator voice too. So the documentary cadence. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think the Polybius one was the Polybius one was really good. Uh, the what was the first video game one was also very good. Um, Somebody I, I unsubscribed a motherfucker who like. It was like a month ago, maybe a couple of weeks back. He's like, "Oh, I have the plebeius." Like, no joke, not kidding. I'm like, Whoa, "Okay, I know the background about this shit thanks to you know watching that." Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what's he like? Oh, and he goes through all the background. I'm like, "What do you? Okay, hit me with it." Somebody had made a like retro mini arcade of it. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, "Oh, that Fuck was a long-winded ad." <laughs> like, get Ben. <laughs> Um, <laughs> man, we lost a couple of people this week. Uh, what was his name? Uh, uh, Eddie Van Halen. Gartner. Yeah. No, I'm talking about Linux people. Oh, oh, the Linux gamer. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he just dropped the Linux uh, gamer brand He's altogether. He's going to talk mm -hmm. about. It. I don't know what he talks about. Yeah, uh, ne Neon I Jason is Evangelion. <laughs> Well, yeah, he also did. It's like, you know oh, what? it's not going to be Linux exclusive anymore. I get right. it. I'll give Jason credit. He lasted longer. He <laughs> lasted longer. I thought he was going to be done mining Linux for uh, clicky views after about eight months. <clears throat> he stretched out. Which, I, like I said, that was a good thing. And it's like, you know, this guy's like, his, he's found out that he could convert Linux into money on this. Good. Because mm -hmm. he was showing Linux in positive light. I said it didn't. I said no. That was a good thing. So no hate on him. None. <laughs> but yeah, no. The Linux gamer. I actually watched his game reviews because the videos were nicely edited, and uh, his voice wasn't completely offensive. So yeah, I, I watched his game reviews, and then he stopped talking about games and he started doing the uh, headache. Uh, <laughs> thumbnails that's and called uh, just trying, going for that, the clickbait that is called trying to make it as a youtuber yeah so i stopped watching him <laughs> so, yeah <laughs> we are we started as the punks out of nowhere and, as saying, and we're still the punks out of nowhere well we haven't matured um we've gotten better at our punky craft but that's about it yeah we, we came before and we'll be around long after the um I don't know. I mean, how many? Think about how many people, Jordan. We've seen like stick their, stick their toes in the water. Like even among our groups, people we still mm -hmm. like talk to and hang out with. are like, hey, I'm doing the Linux. Oh, yep. I'm not doing the Linux thing anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. Where we just like chill back. I'm like, yeah, we well, we run Linux, so I might as well. We're gonna talk about like the games. We're not doing a Linux gaming show so much as, hey, it's a Linux show, and here's some games that we can play because gaming on Linux is wicked simple if you run Linux. <laughs> if you just want to play some Benny Hill music in the background, give Windows user and like, here, go set up Steam Roker. I got this. Linux is stupid. Nvidia broke all my things. <laughs> <laughs> like, but you have an AMD card, Nvidia. <laughs> <laughs> then something catches on fire in their case, and we see. Well, that's a mystery. Arthur and I remember that particular person uh, making a ton of money on Patreon. By not releasing anything. That's a curious case, man, because <laughs> talk about like. She was at scale. I saw her. Oh, this year or last year? Yeah, last year, yeah. Doing just fuck wandering around. Oh, just hanging out? Yeah. Well, I mean, good on her. I mean, because she, she just went poof, smoke bomb for years. Yep. <laughs> Which I get. I get. I'm like, I, you know what? I don't want anything. Because you can imagine that fucking if, community. If, like, if, hello, yeah. how are you? If you're if, if, if you're gonna if you're gonna court that, that market yeah. segment, <laughs> there, you're you're not gonna lie. It, it, there's a high degree of burnout. 
I, I would say you gotta you gotta put up with a lot of shit. You gotta put up with a lot of shit. Um, it takes it depends on what you expect to fucking get out of it too. Like if I tell anybody, it's like I'm thinking about doing a pot. My goal for any of this, my highest biggest dream was like maybe one day I'll break even. Good, but if you're going into it like starting podcasts or starting YouTube channels. Like, have you seen this, Jordan? I don't know. I, I'll see it online. I'm like, hey, man, I get my money saved up. And for the next six months, I'm going to start streaming full out of the blue, too. Like, OK, I've got my money saved up. I haven't been streaming, right, but I'm going to try to become a streamer. Like, That's that, hard. That, well, like coming at it like that, that no, you will fail. Oh, for sure. Like, it takes longer than that to build up an audience. Well, it takes longer than that to learn how to talk. I mean, I mean, like even let, let, let's <laughs> let, let, let's let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Pedro, that they're out like, of the three of us, you're the only person I fucking out of the three of us that can fill a fucking hour with banter. <laughs> yes, I could talk. You you can talk, well, man. <laughs> Jordan, and I, I was going to say something near. very very incriminating, and my no. brain was like, no fifth. Fifth, I'm pulling the fifth right now. <laughs> you can just you can fucking talk. Jordan and I are capable of doing it if we have another person to bounce off. Of. Yeah, like alone. Like I don't know. And when I start talking, people just like start. Lit. I'm like, I, I could use some feedback, kids. No, <laughs> that <laughs> like, happens to me at work. <laughs> I'm not giving a like- sermon. I'm just randomly going on about <laughs> shit. I'm not going to be dropping any like hard knowledge. We're fucking around playing Sonic. But yeah, I like, asked the other LGC. <laughs> are these uh, okay? Here's something that website just reposts uh, press releases from what I can see because I get an email about a new game that's come out, mm-hmm. and then I go on Twitter. It's like, okay, all right. <laughs> if you want to have some fun, kids, I've uh, I've been playing around with the um, still trying to get the cloud flare shit hammered out working correctly and uh but one thing i brought back is the recommended post at the bottom of any like podcast and story and it's recommending shit from like nine years ago like games that it's good that it's there at least for me because like shit we've covered that have completely been wiped from our fucking memory (laughs) and like the only evidence of that shit ever existing is on our fucking web zone Mm-hmm. Because I went looking for one of them. It was like this Heretic remake. Scorched Earth. We got a thumbnail of it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes when I'm doing the, the post and I'm like looking through images, like looking for like the chair or whatever, I'll come across... Like the, the 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 thing that always gets me is like when I punch in Fedora to get the little badge, I get we get the art for like the Last Federation, and that Hail Hydra thing always pops in my head every time. The Last Federation. It was that real time strategy game. They're, they're, they they put out they put out a bunch of games that all took place in like the same fictional universe. Um, the Last Federation. This one. I do not know what it is. Boiling Steam does have some interesting interviews every now and then. <laughs> oh, look at look at Pedro's ooh face. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> Strategy Star- simulation. Star Wars Rogue AI War. Yeah. Bionic Dudes. Aw. It's sexy elf Pedro. <laughs> With the Saturn controller. <laughs> Aw. Now we're into Pisby. <laughs> ah, we're out. Damn it. But, okay, let's see if this recommendation engine is going to work with this old ass shit. Boop. Yep. Coffin Dodgers. Massive. Oh, Massive Chalice. Was that Massive Chalice? Yeah, it had to be. I think yes. that might have been Massive Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bionic Dude. Yeah. Yeah. It's by the same guy as Bionic Dude. I like Arson. Bionic Dude. Ar- Ar- Arson <laughs> Games. Yeah. 
I like Bionic News a lot. And I know Linux Neuro did as well because I think he has 300 hours in that game. Teleglitch. The last. All right. What was the last about? Oh, the last federation. Never mind. Yeah. Dirt. Yes. Yeah. Damn. Well, it worked very well back in the day. What was the verdict? Two chairs? Yeah. Middle of the road. All right. That was our trip down History Bane. History Bane. <laughs> you merely, you merely adopted the history. We <laughs> installed the WordPress plugin. <laughs> I, I compiled PHP from source. Buy it. I was there when the query was first. Yeah. All right. Um. Let me get some drink. We'll do this. Uh. What are we feeling tonight, Jordan? You wanna like uh? Play some bracketeering or some shit instead of... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's do some Jack. Jackbox. Right, do some Jackbox. Sh shake things up a bit. Not that we're taking a extended break from Left 4 Dead. We'll just let it breathe a little bit. Yeah, yeah we we're letting we that non-troversy die down a little well, bit. Well, I was also waiting to see... Like, <laughs> hang on. I don't have to make... I don't have a poking <laughs> stick. This cruel world. Yeah, we're... we're, we're do, do something else. <laughs> it's like, do something. <laughs> right. <laughs> We, we still got to do Who's Your Daddy. Weren't you guys supposed to do that this Thursday? Yeah, I have no idea what happened with that. <laughs> you think I have control over my life, Pedro? <laughs> I, <laughs> I thought I was going to stream Fallout 3 on uh, on Tuesday, and then it's like, oh, you, you have access to Proteus now. All right, we're doing that then. <laughs> Yeah, Proteus. No, I want that. Uh, I want that game to come out complete. No early access. No things. When it's out, I will get it because that was very satisfying. Yes, it was. <laughs> yeah, the stupid secret that uh, that video that you posted, Arthur, and it's like, oh, that just looked like a fucking wall. There was nothing to indicate that there was a secret there. What the fuck? <laughs> that's because that's it's a secret, Pedro. That's how secrets but work. But that's the thing. The other secrets, they were... You could see them. It's like, okay, so there has to be a way to get up there. That uh, Pedro, one is, is literally a fucking wall. <laughs> that, 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 that means that it's a pretty good secret, then. <laughs> it's shit game design is what it is. No, uh, I, I'm being mean. Uh, the actual game is... Uh, no, seriously, even the pistol. That's so satisfying to use. That's gonna... Like, the sound and the freeze frames that they do when you uh, shoot it. Yes! <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, no, that, that is the Doom way of... Like, OG Doom way of doing secrets. You just hug the walls and you hit the use key. <laughs> It, it's not. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, I want to play proper Proteus. Uh, not Proteus. That one's already out. <laughs> Proteus. <laughs> Proteus. You. Yeah. Oh man. Produce. Yeah, that was like one. I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother. Because that thing, <laughs> this being streamed, looked like such ass with the pixels. Because there's, you know, <laughs> pixels on top of pixels. It's like, mm, you know, by the time I export that to YouTube, <laughs> it's going to look a bit crunchy. It, it's just going to be like the blurry <laughs> smear thing. It's already crunchy, pristine. It's crunchy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even know what you're talking about anymore, man. Pristine, crunchy. No, when you export a video from Twitch to YouTube, uh, YouTube just destroys whatever quality you happen to have. You got to deal with the YouTube <laughs> history. Thing. Yep. Oh, well, I mean, YouTube's gonna YouTube, right? Unless you up up res it to UHD, then 
If you're willing to wait 24 hours, it'll hit you with uh, some of that VP9 sweetness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, instead of the AVC one. (laughs) Um, Then eventually it will, like, yeah, 24 hours if you're lucky. (laughs) I'm not making that up. (laughs) Scott knows that. We're done processing now. Oh, that only took two weeks. That's why we have, um, you know, sometimes if I have time and it's not time sensitive, I'll up res like our Left 4 Dead or um, mm. Blood and uh, Young and Blood. <clears throat> looks great. But it also makes it, when you do that, the 1080p looks good too, though, instead of being like having a blocky. Yeah. <laughs> blocky yeah. is a technical term you should be using. <laughs> Low bit rate. <laughs> But it, no, it's um, I noticed it when when I was doing like the controller overlay thing, and I I, I started the um, the thing with you know one of my uh, Dark Souls streams, and I was looking at it. And I was like, oh my god, YouTube destroys the quality of anything. <laughs> Michael, you you got that wrong. If you cut off the uh, hide the ugly fucking asset filter. Uh, Pedro, who you it know doesn't. That. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't look <clears throat> particularly good. Pedro had the moment. Oh yeah, let's cut off the pixel. Oh, let's cut that back up. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't remember who it was that mentioned it on stream. Oh yeah, you can turn off the sprites so they actually render as three D models. All right, let's try that. Uh, that doesn't look very good. Let's cut that back into sprites. There we go. <laughs> All right, everyone. Um, let me get this thing locked in, locked in, and Batman. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's reboot Batman, the '60s TV show. Dude, I'm down for that, 100. Yeah. Uh, they, they they did an animated show that was kind of in the tune of it called Brave and the Bold that I quite enjoyed. Okay. Um, yeah, just bring back campy Batman. Yeah. We've, we've had too much grim dark Batman. I want like Catman, <laughs> campy Batman. I missed out on that. I mean, I, it, it had been off the air for a long time by the time I came around to watch it as a child, but no one explained to me that it was camp. I was like, this is dog shit. <laughs> like, know? no, they know, they know exactly what they're fucking doing. Yeah, later in life, I'm like, oh, this was like the show to be on. At the mm-hmm. time. Yeah, okay, now I get it. Now I get it. It made sense. Yeah, after Adam West died, the local video store put up all three seasons and I ended up watching through them. It's fun. For like it, it's it's a stupid like kids show. It's fun. Yeah, it was like well, it was it was aimed at like adults, but um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a uh, cartoony live action. It was yeah. the that is the dumbest thing. I jeez, I can't take this thing seriously. And I was talking about shark repellent versus like. I would have liked to have been in the writer's room. He's like, yeah, fuck it. Shark repellent. This is- oh, dude. So, so some of, <laughs> some of the riddles for the Riddlers, they're just like, fuck it. Let's just come up with a bullshit answer. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Hickory dickory, fuck it. All right. Yeah. Hickory smoked assholes, what? <laughs> Dr. Tran. All right. Beautiful people. Um, come to the hate mail. Last segment, short and sweet. In three, two. And I think that was fairly disappointing of a, uh, a chair acquisition. I know it was for me. Why? Yes. <laughs> because I wanted to like that game. I really did. But I didn't. And I, I, I think did, Nicholas's uh, frown should be turned upside down. Yes, I'm, I'm scared. Use tongue. I'm honestly a little bit scared. I'll tell you what that is, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's a man looking over there and he's like, Nori's been trying to poison me. Blink twice. <laughs> I, I bet I'm you five bucks, cook. though. <laughs> you, you know, it'd be hilarious if someone snuck into Pedro's house and just made like a little, a little glory hole behind that, so that when he takes it out, there's just like a little hole there, like a little alien <laughs> thing that came out and like chomped at him. Yeah, <laughs> well, there is a fridge on the other side of that well, hole. I bet then I, I said glory hole, not gory hole. <laughs> it's true. Ah. And if you're on Steam, you can disable both of those filters in the exact same page. But if you'd like to let us know which page you disable your Where the fuck's that in the overlay? I, I gotta get looking. Um, 
I, I don't. Well, you can't access it from the overlay from the Steam browser. No, I, it, I, I want it, I it's, want it's, a gory it's, hole overlay. It, it, can... it, it, it's a command line option. You do Steam dash dash gory hole. Okay. <laughs> you gotta run, so you, yeah, if you'd like you to show us your gory hole, GTSE. please don't. <laughs> You can go to LinuxGameCast.com, you hit the contact button, and you fill out the form. If you're a game developer, and after watching the uh, the, the Charcosition, uh, you'd like to send us keys for some reason. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not sorry, but I, I will lie and say that I am. Uh, you, make sure to include three keys or something that we can all play, because if you don't, well, you saw what happened last week. Uh, so, yeah, you, you, you can smang it. <laughs> I, I, I guess you can't spang it yet. One of my favorite things to do, uh, we're able to provide tech support, easily, easily Googleable tech support on a delay, sometimes up to an entire week or even a month. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. This is one of the um, you know benefits uh, we have. Uh, something I look forward to each and every week. But Josh, Josh saw a video that I made last year. <laughs> Because I couldn't get the goddamn Batman to run under Steam. That wasn't fixed until this year. So I installed Steam through Lutris, which is available at Lutris.biz. And, um, dot ru. That are you. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, actually, I do have some. Okay. We, we, next week, remind me of that again. I, okay, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. boy. We can go places. But he's like, yo, man, Arkham Knight. So I, I just did a recording. I'm like, hey, man. Hey, internet. Look, it's running. It's great. And you can do it. It's like I played the game on Papas with normal Steam for Linux. So the Proton setting. Yes, the Proton setting. Mm -hmm. Played for four hours, then got a fatal error 2012. Now I'm trying to install the game True, True Lutris. It starts, but still get another fatal error. Not, not the 2012 one, though. But you know what, <laughs> motherfucker? I'm not going to tell you what that error is. Uh, would you like to play guesswork on your show? He didn't include that part, but this is the liberty we're taking. Any suggestions, Josh? <laughs> Josh. I like I mean, to imagine that this is Josh, the Josh we know. Pennywise? He, no, 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 no. <laughs> A Josh D. Walrus? The, the Wyoming. <laughs> the, the, the one that hails from the Wyoming. <laughs> Yeah, ah. the one that lives so far above uh, sea level that the air is really thin. <laughs> yes, Wyoming. <laughs> on, the, on Mount Wyoming. Um, on it's, uh, Wyoming's just a big square, but it's a very tall square. <laughs> yes. This is, this is fair, man. I don't know. I mean, it. Batman, it, you didn't. See, here's the thing. I mean, does it just, if it just crashes, you could be stuck at a crashy spot. It's a crash yeah. boy, even with Proton. Like, I have not... Okay. I technically... I think I finished the game. I got through it. I powered my way through it. But, like, towards the end, it just got... Fuck you, Crashy. Not as mm. bad as um, the Egyptian Assassin's Creed. That one got so bad. That one got Origins. so bad, like, six hours into the game. Like, after you got that fucking investment. You know, you've Man. done shit. You, you started working on that character. You've picked what path... Despite Crash. Man, I, I I'm so looking forward to Brawlhalla because I got I got a free copy of that with the Ryzen, so <laughs> it's gonna be fucking fun, man. Uh, but with this, that could be what you're running into, man. I mean, it, it's uh, I got all the way through it to the real ending, not the real ending, apparently, because apparently after you beat the game, the game's like you didn't beat the game, why not? Because you didn't capture all these motherfuckers, and that'll give you another twelve hours of bullshit that you don't want, uh, that you intentionally uh, avoided on your way through the game the first time, so. Go have fun. <laughs> I, I thought I thought you had to play it again, but this time has nine S. And then you have to that. play it again with A two as well. That that would be <laughs> fucked up. It's a Batman game, but then it turns out to be a near game. And Are you like... shit? See again. This is the game that I've asked for. I want like the fucking um, cyberpunk near. Like, <laughs> Dude, I I I, give I, me I the want the Matrix I, I just... with that shit. Like that? I, oh yeah. I, I, I want a straight up playable Grant Morrison comic. That's what I want. Just like, <laughs> well, fuck they're your bringing, logic. Uh, they're bringing near replicant uh, to PC. It's no longer a PS3 exclusive. Thank you, Sony. Finally, yeah, it, it's gonna be fucking. Uh, oh, God damn it! I mean, <laughs> here, there's my impression of old man Ben when that comes out. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know anything about <laughs> Nier other than I was like, oh, it's a battle spectacle. Oh, well, here's what I knew about Nier. Um, sorry, Butts. Batman, uh, whatever. It didn't work. Sorry about that. Try harder. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it stole two Lutras. Uh, but the only thing I knew about Nier was that it was Platinum. And Platinum tends not to make shit games. Hmm? I'd, I'd say the worst that, game Platinum ever. They make ever. the Bayonettas and the that one Transformers game. See, even the one yep. you can't get. I, yeah. I, I, I went looking. Man. Man, motherfuckers, they, like, that was the one time I legitimately went to G2A and I was like, how much I gotta spend to get a key for this damn <laughs> game? 80 bucks. It's like, peace out. And, um, yeah. But no, I, I think like the slowest game Platinum ever made was uh, like Vanquish. Mm-hmm. It was a fucking cover shooter, but I mean, they did the best you possibly could with a fucking cover shooter. But um, I, I just love them for revengeance, Nano Machine Son. That game, <laughs> that game is just a fucking acid trip. <laughs> we look forward to the next near, more near, all the things. Uh, that game was uh, that, that was a fun game. So yeah, hope, hopefully we answered your uh, Batman question with that. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Go go play the rest of them. They all work. I've beat. Yeah, go play Nier Automata. That's actually it's actually not bad. It's it's a really good game. You should if you haven't played it, you should. <laughs> All three times. On that robotic atomic shell mata. But hey, butt shell. On that butt shell. Stay away from butt shells. Five dudes. <laughs> That's right. Beautiful people. If you want to get in touch with me, man, um, I'm just old man Vin at Vinstone on Twitter. Dot com. I think it's twitter.com. That's where I'm at, at vin at mast.linuxteamcast.com. That's where I hang out. Hop in our Discord if you're a beautiful party patron. Uh, we are actually in our own Discord, unlike some hosts at other shows, which I might also be part of their patron, and they're never in there chatting. That's where we go to talk shit to each other. So yes. enjoy that for <laughs> what it is. I'm Jordan Spung. I guess I'm kind of the 2B of the Linux Gamecast crew because I got the best butt. You can find me at The Burning Fool on Twitter, maybe posting pictures of my butt. And I suppose I'm A2. I'm the one that just kind of shows up at one point and no one's entirely sure what the hell. But hey, uh, I'm Peter Mateos. You can find me at an accounted for on Twitter because. Yeah. Are you posting pictures of your butt? Don't don't kid yourself, a motherfucker. Neither of these motherfuckers post anything on Twitter. So it's true. <laughs> I, hey, I, re- I retweet I, stuff. I retweet and like stuff, like stuff occasionally. I try to make it a point. God damn it! Enjoy the credits. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I call my every meal: throbbing beef traction. <laughs> As it goes down my throat. <laughs> that, that was my name in theater class. Yeah. Nice. All right. Well, we got we got a brand new advisor. We got to thank Vigilant Viking. My favorite Ubuntu release. We got our executive producers, Arthur and Empty, Atomic Ass, Mike G, Barb Ramp, Aldius, Matt Geek, Scott, Frosty Claw, Haplo, and Mr. Fox Dukes, the only Tiki. And the rest of our producers, those lovely, lovely human beings like Dave S, Smashly G, Michael, Egal, you know Jelly, Topical Guys. Alan, Mr. Alert has a Twitter. He does. No shit. He's got like two posts on it from 2012. Excellent. <laughs> I, em, em, empty literally signed up for a Twitter account just so he had something to put in the lower third. Sanja, Berlin, yes. Extraction, <laughs> Doja, Rubio, Oxford, Zero. Coma, Iris, I guess we gotta, two, one, Captain I, Zero. I guess we gotta take Vigilant Nemo. Viking off the bottom. No, he's on the top. He will forever a, be a, a bottom power. He's bottom. a power he's bottom and the Omega. As he's well a power bottom, PowerShell just like PowerShell on Linux and Library.tv at also, Mixed Pyramid. No emoji support for plungers. That's a shame. How else am I supposed to get like the plunger egg plants out of my- I was looking. I was looking for an emoji that was like, okay, plug plunger. Nope. <laughs> Firefox told me to go eat a dick. Man, how am I supposed to get the eggplants out of my toilet without a plunger emoji? Good night, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you gotta use lightning like a normal person. <laughs> but p- apply lightning directly to the toilet. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, plunger emoji is has been proposed, but it's not in the Unicode yet. <laughs> uh.
I don't know, man. I just saw that Twitter recommended um, Mr. Alert to me, and I'm like, watch this. Watch this motherfucker just be like tweeting up a storm. <laughs> nah. I was like, nope, there's Alan. Yep, that's Alan. Two tweets. Yep. <coughs> I guess Discord already has it. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> Firefox cheats. is having none of it. <laughs> oh, Firefox told me to get wrecked. It's like, do you, do you want to square in something that you haven't even, like, yeah. Yeah, it's got uh, 01F080 or 08D. I'm not sure. It's better Why get you, dark. I, now I just want a burger. <laughs> I, get, I, I, get, I guess I have burgers for dinner tonight. I got a bunch of ground beef. I got oh, you do? Yeah. Right on. Do you have a uh, do you, the do you burger bread buns? I I have that bread that I was eating in a for that sandwich earlier. Oh, you you know. have the uh, we have hamburgers at home bread. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, like uh, actually, traditional bread is usually better than the burger buns. On, on, so honestly, I like just to eat burger buns plain, so I don't buy them because then I just eat them before I eat make the burgers. <laughs> do you have any type of like do you put some crunch on them or something? You just No, I just, I I just take them down. What's the sugar content in Toronto? Pretty bread? yes. Pretty high. Pretty high. <laughs> pretty <right>. high. <laughs> They're nice and sweet. <laughs> They're wheat candy. Um, everyone, get up, take a break, do the thing. We're going to light up uh, after shows, and if you want to participate uh, with the um, Pedro, if you could change that on the uh, yes. Twitch Arena to some Jackbox. Uh, which Jackbox is it? I don't know. Uh, well, Jackbox. Pick one. Yeah, what, what, do you, what do you think? The Jackbox police is going to show up? Be like... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yes. There's a new Jackbox coming out this month, I think. Is it Jackbox Party Pack 7? It's not out yet. Don't put that one. Okay, the Jackbox Party Pack's generic it is. There we go. <laughs> Damn it, we need to make a little good-o title of, like, Captain Jack Harkness in a box, and we just shake him around. We can, we can have some, uh... Face of Bo-Off? Yeah. It's two Jacks in a box. That's all it is. It's just Jacks, different Jack characters. <laughs> Epogees. J yeah, Jack from uh, from Titanic. Jack from A Nightmare Before Christmas. Jack Reacher. <laughs> um, uh, let's change the title Jack, as well. Jack from again. Mortal Kombat. Lost Jack from Wait, was there a Jack and Lost? <laughs> yeah, there was. There was a there was a Jack and Lost. Yeah, ja Jacks from Mortal Kombat. Um, Jack and the Beanstalk. Uh, getting Jackie with it is the new Jack title of the stream. Jackie Chan. <laughs> yeah, ja Jackie Chan. I was gonna say, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Jackie Earl Harley, the guy who played uh, Rorschach in the Watchmen movie. Okay. Uh, oh, you mean the second? That, right? Not not yeah, the original screen test. Not the original screen test. That was that was Jorah Mormont, wasn't it? Dude, I don't know. I <laughs> be impressed that I even know that there was like a shot produced. Yeah, Sol Sol Solid Snake wrote that. David Hayter. Yeah. Okay. Robin um, Williams. Actually, appar apparently the David the David Hayter version of Watchmen was the only script that Alan Moore read and was like, you know what? This isn't actually half bad. Mm. So. <laughs> I think the Watchmen for the time it was fucking. I think they did all right with it. I mean, if you're looking for like the direct translation. Of the graphic comic book novel, uh, no, but they did a <laughs> shitload of fucking fan service in that movie. They did. Talk, you you want to talk about penis? You want to talk about <laughs> fan service? Let's talk about like the fucking Watchmen HBO series because that like that is meticulously constructed to like reference as much of Watchmen as possible in like every given frame. It's crazy. Yeah, they made it like, a challenge. Yeah, it's. It's like it's real good, um, but we can all agree that everyone just wants a looking glass spin-off series. Maybe, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Totally not Rorschach. Yeah, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. It, what 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 if what if Rorschach? But like, he's aware that he's a piece of shit. 
And he had a bunker. A bunker. Yeah. Instead of an apartment. It could be an apartment. Bunker. No, he had a house. And then there was a bunker in the background. <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about Rorschach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now nah, Rorschach's got a bunker filled with beans. Rorschach is a fine goo now. Or a fine mist. <laughs> Speaking of mist, Canadian mist, uh, the, the boys is done. Yep. Again, it's so weird watching that show because, like, I can, I can see where they're filming. Like, <laughs> oh, absolutely. But I mean, when it comes to sci-fi, I think we're just all cool. Like, yeah, that's look. It's not Toronto, or it's not <laughs> not Canada. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> not Vancouver. <laughs> I really like the Hellraiser uh, Yoda doll, though. That was pretty good. Did you see that, Jordan? Yeah, I did. That okay. was pretty good. Oh, man, I'm so, I'm so stoked for Mandalorian Season 2. It's going to be pretty good. You no. Know, We're going to have Gus Fring back. Yeah. This is like Gus Fring, uh, not as like the <laughs> head of Vought or as um, <laughs> the, <laughs> the Mad Chicken Restaurant. No, this is Gus Fring with a lightsaber. Dude, he is yep. so good I mean, as yeah, Lex Luthor. <laughs> yeah, dude, he is so good as Lex Luthor in Harley Quinn. I just want like a Lex Luthor show starring him. Mm. Well, like they've like done. They, that's the run they should do because they, they've definitely done the comic book run of like Lex Luthor's not necessarily the bad guy. No, like, uh, what, what do you call it? Uh, for a while, Action Comics was just like, it was a story following Lex Luthor, just like yeah. fucking bopping around in space. I'm down for that, man. I, like, Lex Luthor is an interesting character. He does. I and mean, he, he wants what's best for Gotham. It was for uh, him and Senator Kelly. Yeah, he wants to defeat the X-Men. Yeah, I mean, and they want to, like, rehabilitate Smallville. and Yeah, and, 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 and eventually become... Uh, the the last Starfighter. Yeah. yeah. Oh, do you know? Oh, dude, you know that there's like that dude who wrote that script is like, like will not ever let it be um remade. Remade. Like he's got it locked <laughs> down like hard. Good. I don't think we need a reboot of the last Starfighter. You know what? I I got a problem. Like if I if I make something, I don't want to. I don't. I, I'm just saying. It, do what you got to do, man. I, I won't even judge anyway. Improve on it by all means. Yeah. Well, that's, that's <laughs> if thing, I, if I I'm not doing yeah, anything with it, just at it. go yeah. <laughs> get. <laughs> I just want to see some some more original stuff. Not everything has to be an adaptation or well, a remake. Are, well, actually, nothing's really original. True, but like you can have unique combinations of stuff. That's what it's about, right? Like big chunky thick bread and hamburger patties. It's not thick bread, it's long bread. <laughs> long bread, get, get this shit right. Fucking I thought scrub. that was a baguette. <laughs> um, I'm going to attempt to hop into the after shows and kids, so bye-bye live. All right, as you do that, I will pee. This works sometimes. Sometimes. It's a good start. Ugh. What's this horse shit? I don't know. You can designate community servers, I guess. Alright. Where are you only that big? How are you in 4x3? This is a better question. Magic. Right? I have questions. <laughs> this, huh. That would lead me to believe that the system booted in 4 by 3 somehow? Maybe? Maybe that's... I don't know. <laughs> Let me see if that's going to 16 by 9 I don't think it will. No. It's too small. It's too small, Jordan. It's too small? It's too, so small. All right. It's just right. 
I, I'm gonna. I'm, we're gonna power cycle this thing. Um, All right. One. Two. This is an adventure box, simply because. Adventure box, come on, grab your friends. We'll go to a very distant box. Full of boxes. It's a box full of adventure. Yay, PCP. <laughs> Uncle Jordan brought the drugs. Yeah, I did. DDC got messed up. Thank you, Don. It would be an after show. We'll take two. I need to plug a monitor into that, but this can't be bothered. Do you, how many headless boxes do you have, Jordan, that require a GUI? None. Uh, unfortunately, I've rounded that up to one. Nah. Hmm. Not a smart move. I don't recommend it. Advice taken. Is Ram still stupid cheap? Amazon. It Amazon. It wasn't was that like, bad. I the 16 it. gig kit for like 40 bucks. I'm like, not. Nah, oh, I don't even use the 32 gigs I have. Yeah, no. Ram prices were better than I had thought uh, when I was buying my 32 gig kit. Especially for two 16s. Like. Right. Like, the biggest crime is Jackbox, man, running a list with 16 gigs in it. Mm. That might use eight. There's plenty of head. You have, you have overhead, right? Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to complain about having too much RAM. No, you'd only yeah. complain about not having a swap file. <laughs> yeah. Considering K win might uh, start eating my RAM, <laughs> I might need that 32 gigs. Did it? Still four by three, eh? That's an interesting one, now, isn't it? Hmm. Enhance. Hang on, let me see. Enhance. Nay. Enhance. Source timing. That's fucking curious. How is it in 4x3? I don't have a way to get a monitor plugged in without fucking everything else. Alright kids, you're in 4x3 today. This is a special retro edition. <laughs> you're not coming in through Skype. Well, it's all Electron nowadays, so you are technically sort of kind of coming in through Skype. <laughs> it's alright, we don't have to look at people's faces. We just get the infinite even view. See. Linux Gamecast, Infinity War. There we go. <laughs> oh, no. oh my god. <laughs> it's He's gonna eat us. <laughs> ah, help us. <laughs> there was the eye of Alan. For those of you who now have an Alan Vore fetish, I'm sorry. Listen, man, it's like the Eye of Sauron, but with Alan. <laughs> the, the, the Eye of Sauron needs a pretty heavy prescription, so he's got, like, the one monocle. <laughs> Alan shows up and knock, knocks that fucking smirk off his little face. What's up? I mean, we've, we've already Whoa. established that Alan is Gandalf. He's camera Gandalf. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So I gotta get um, Jordan. Hi, Ben. Hi, Pedro. Hello. Hello, Jill. <laughs> well, hello there. We get noise. <laughs> oh, Mir Mir's muted, Mir. so that's good. Nice. <laughs> we can just watch him emote. <laughs> <laughs> how how much can he mug? We'll find out. Yeah. Stay tuned. <laughs> that. There's a lot of arm going on. <laughs> I just want to see if he hurts himself, like, if he flails around and, like, knocks back into the wall there and a bunch of tools just fall on him. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's the most organized I've seen that garage. 
Oh, that's why that's not working. I got to click all the right buttons. Give me a minute. There we go. Ah. <laughs> Fair enough. Jill, give me some words. Ah, yay. We're going to have fun playing Jackbox. I always love playing Jackbox. All right. You got some words. Yeah, Michael's just always friend. extra loud. And he's like, oh, what do you mean? Not no, again. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Well, me and uh, I was too low earlier, so I'm going to turn it down just a second. Oh, apparently I'm still logged that. in with Twitch. Excellent. Good. Yay. So, oh. I, I was logged in last week, so let's see this week. Yes, I am. All right. Huh. I haven't been there for weeks and still logged in here. Yeah. No, it's, it's, for, it's for, strange for, that way. Sometimes it's, well, yeah. no, because for for a while you had to log back in again. We, we were running into that. Maybe they changed the cookie live policy. Then I think be. so. Yeah, because I noticed that. Because the last time we played a few weeks hey, ago, hey, still logged in. It had been forever. It had <laughs> been forever since we had played, and I was surprised I was still logged in. <laughs> like everyone else. Were you though? I don't believe you. I think you knew all along. <laughs> <laughs> You're just feigning shock to lull us into a false sense of security. Feigning shock is the best shock. A surprise shock. You're like, ah! <laughs> That's how Jill's get you. <laughs> and she sneaks up and gives you What are we a looking for? Oh, there it is. Jackbox Party Pack Le Four. Quatre. Le Four. Quatre. Quatre. Quatre Fore. Watch a yeah. Isn't that a. Uh, Shut up, Pedro. I know exactly what I did. <laughs> that's cheating if you. Shalosh! Sounds like the uh, main character of the. Uh, it <laughs> it's an actual. She. That's all the versions of four I know. I can't remember what the fuck it is. It's a I, guess, I, guess, I guess Quattro. Quattro Porte. Yeah, I, I I know that because of the offspring. The four door. Uh, Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, yeah, cinco, cinco, yeah, yeah. Yes, is that. So uh, yeah, you... there's also the Alfa Romeo Quattrofoglia, the, the Julia yeah. version. Oh, I, I guess Rammstein taught me how to count to ten in German too. <laughs> I think the craziest Alfa I ever got to deal with was an Alfa Romeo Spider Velocia. Is that the one that comes out on the Blurns that's ball a field? That's a funky car, too. That uh, well, I had a dash shifter. That was my... Uh. Oh, like the <laughs> thing on the on the, on like the actual dash, huh? Yeah, the shifter yeah. came... There's one of yeah. these things up the top. Yeah, I got to sit inside... Nori's uncle has a uh, Julia. And uh, we were outside talking about cars is and it orange? I mentioned please let like, it be orange <laughs> lie to me Pedro no me it was no orange. it was white damn it <laughs> it was white ah. <laughs> but I was talking it's like that's a very nice car that's basically a Ferrari with the uh, Alfa Romeo badge on it it's like yeah do you want to sit inside wait a, minute, yes. wait a minute yes <laughs> you, you found a way to make Ferraris less reliable oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> I mean Fiat owns Ferrari at that point it's like oh I'm sorry. <laughs> oh man, that, that that reminds me of that one bit from Archer where he buys like the fancy Italian car, but he has the truck drive it around because when you factor in parts and repair, it's not actually that much more expensive just to have it carted around town than just to drive it. Oh yeah. But yeah, no. On the inside, those Julias are spaceships, basically. Your that, spaceship. That's all fancy. <laughs> Your face is a spaceship. <laughs> Let us ride it to the sun. Yes. Sun spaceship. <laughs> Engage. <laughs> what about sunfish, man? You ever, you ever like, want to try to eat a sunfish? Not really, no. Not really? Alright. Fair enough. Nah. These things get big. You could, you could feed, like, people. Oh, them. yeah, they get huge. Oh, no. It looked exactly like this. I wonder if they a taste sunfish? like fish. Yeah. Uh, a sunfish? I don't know what fish tastes like. Oh, the burning? Uh, uh, Icebook quadrant you're talking about? Well, that was mirror never mind. I was about to say, Scott, are you jumping in a conversation that happened like five minutes ago? <laughs> 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 
That's that's the implications of push to talk, man. You're just seven minutes behind. <laughs> it just takes a minute. All right, fair enough. <laughs> it takes seven <laughs> minutes. It takes a minute. Yeah. I guess I should scooch. Where's my? Where's the descending thing on this chair? Is there a descending thing on this you chair? You can stay oh. wherever you want. There should, there should be a descending thing. I don't think I found one. But is that it? I don't know. I very rarely mess around with this chair anymore. Ever since I set it up, <laughs> you should what have like a flippy handle. Do? I, I I do. Okay, it's at the bottom. I'm as low as I can go. Apparently, I'm so good. many bad jokes I can make. So many of them. Listen, we can go lower, Scott. Yeah, we can always go lower. <laughs> um. So, ha! Ah, check it out. I can hide the room code now. From all of you, I'm going to play by myself and you'll watch. Racketeering, I know, I know what I'm going to vote for. Me! I say this is what everyone so does, and uh, everyone loses. <laughs> um, uh, all right, see, I, I'm going to go to general. You gotta go. Oh, really? You're gonna make me. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna send it to the general. <laughs> That's right. Eagle boop. That hilarious fucking general, man. I'm just like, God damn it! Slow down with your comedy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta get in first because apparently I'm the only person responsible enough to run the button. <laughs> Unless everyone wants to tune into a game of oh, I guess we're starting. Okay, uh, give me a second. <laughs> yeah, it's happened a few times. <laughs> All right, kids. There you go. All right. Ooh, okay. Do I get indie? I guess. Yeah. Hey, I put your kids in. There you go. Boop. Hey. <laughs> Bye. The mopo is there. The motherfucker. Yeah, but we're missing winter. Come on, Alan. Fix this. <laughs> I've done all I can. He's done all he can, uh, Captain. Uh, I, 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 I mean, I mean, short, short of you leaving, there's no way we're gonna get winter coming back. <laughs> is that a little pug in that robot, or Scott? Yeah, yes. sure. He's a little pug. <laughs> Just like in real life. life. He's, he's secretly a pug. Well, Pedro's a shark man. That looks good. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a floating squid cat. I'm apparently... <laughs> I have a hat. I'm a, I'm a robot with a hat. <laughs> what do I have in front of my name? I'm Is Android 13. Look at my trucker hat. <laughs> There's an icon in front of my name. and I can't tell what it is. Oh, you mean on your There's screen? Yeah, it's uh, the it? head of your avatar. If you look on the stream, you'll see what it actually is. <laughs> oh, okay. There it is. All right. Uh, okay. So, yes, I see it. Jackbox, you need to go out to game audio. I guess we could open it up for like the rest mm. of Chat Realm, right? Because like shit, we only have half the players. Well, I think this one's unlimited, so we can do sixteen. Yeah, I think 16, so. Good luck figuring the, out the uh, secret code. Thrower, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, there's, so, there's a Discord so, video in the way. ZSWZ. Scott, they don't know what Z is. What is Z? S. It's a skill testing question, because we're in Canada. Is it better than being dead? That was only for the Canadian. <laughs> hey, we say Zed here too. Is Those of us who speak the Queen's English. Yes, we yeah, speak the Queen's people English. People around here also French. say Zed, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you're, you're the plan of the Queen. Jokes in there. <laughs> From zero to and, Zed. Uh, they also call routers routers, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one still bugs me, that one. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so so Roto so, I, so from from a, from a Scottish Important professor. Questions. I, wow. Your answers will be God, this is, I, I got a hush button. <laughs> Ouch! You're welcome. My ears. Good. That's supposed to hurt.
I'm sending the topic of our first Racketeering. bracket to No pandering. Hardest word to spell No correctly. pandering. <laughs> I'm myself for some serious irony from some of these answers. Type in the best I'm gonna, answer you can think yeah, of and hit I'm send. Gonna if your answer wins the entire bracket, you'll be rolling in cash. By the way, you can join the audience and play along by going to jackbox.tv and entering the room code. I'm not going to say the room code. One. <laughs> it's Z W. Or was it Z S W? I don't know. Oh, 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 I have oh, oh, S W Z. S S X tricky. Rock around this, rock around this tricky. Most votes, you could win some sizable bonus bucks. <laughs> Those are both easy words to spell. <laughs> Mine wasn't. I, I didn't spell it correctly either. Hardest word to spell? Oh, did we get a. Oh! Wrong screen, damn it. The predictions are in. <laughs> yeah, they. <laughs> Let's dive into our first bracket. <laughs> oh, it's a doozy. What the hell? Is <laughs> oh, let's go. Team Rocket, baby. Yeah. Surrender now or prepare to fight. Meowth, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. also misspelled, but Grand whatever. <laughs> it's high <laughs> 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 not high we What? And that pays out 20 prediction winners. Oh, shit. Hey, okay. I butchered that one so much. <laughs> I butchered mine. Two Titans squaring <laughs> off. I, I would have went with two. Spoiler <laughs> spelling. For, for spelling. like as hard as clean spelling, <laughs> but. <laughs> spelling. <laughs> oh, that's not possible. Well. This one seems like it's over before it's done. <laughs> That should be like a new version of a dog velder. Rod velder. <laughs> he, he like weld zombie parts. That's why I get her following the rules. Yeah. Uh, There's cash if you predicted this one. Santa Cruz Suck operation. It, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what tensions are mounting over in the Eastern Oh conference. God, please, where's mine? Hurry up and get it. There it is. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What's a nigga? <laughs> Schwarzenegger. Uh, okay. Swordian. <laughs> what? <laughs> Swordian. Swordian. Like yeah. Okay. No contest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it took me six attempts to do that. <laughs> and you still <laughs> failed. Good job. <laughs> yes, I did. And How the fuck am I supposed to know how to spell that? Oh. What? Well, now I'm just hungry. Yeah, that one, because I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm yeah. hungry. <laughs> I had burgers for I dinner, and I'm burger. hungry. I got a pepper to the Tum Tum. <laughs> Actually, I want a hot dog more right now. <laughs> that wasn't even close. But you get to eat it between sandwich bread. Yeah. Sure you can. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't say you sure couldn't. You I said you have to. I do it all the time. Before we get on to yeah, round it's two, actually it's sold time to make another prediction. At the habit. You've got a new matchup waiting for you on your device. Predict the one you think is going to that win. One. The predictions are it's in. It's going to be edgy. Let's yeah. jump back to the for round two. <laughs> so edgy. Yeah. Edgy, edgy, Folks, edgy, edgy. Team matchup. Spleen. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> spleen. Splelly. I must take it into Spleen. I must take Spleen. <laughs> Squiggly spooch. Wow. Is that one been I, I, th I thought splowing would have clinched it. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, to be hard. fair, I missed the Noah there, so... <laughs> One more match to determine our I, I mean, cl I, I know who's gonna win. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> Team member. <laughs> no, no, sorry. <laughs> Swartenegger is winning. Swar Swartenegger. <laughs> Swartian Nega. Swartian <laughs> That's not even close. Like, no. <laughs> see, I would have went with like Schwartz. And now the defense <laughs> the Schwartz. Schwartz. The hardest word to spell correctly. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, <laughs> the soul where's your god now? Oh. oh, come on, no, no, come on. Yes, yes. Oh, oh, come on. Go. Come on. Oh, go now. Oh, god, no. <laughs> everyone's ab <laughs> everyone's <laughs> abandoning <laughs> ship. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow oh, I won really? that one. <laughs> <laughs> Two words I would never swap. And I, I, I knew you're I knew you're gonna pick that one too, because you always like to trot that one out. <laughs> Look, hypopotamus escapadeliophobia is one of my pet words. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Artharen. May the Schwartz be with you. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright, I'll take third place. <laughs> Fucking Pedro. It's time for the blind bracket. All you'll be given is yeah. the category. Name any mythological person or creature. Go ahead and write the first thing that comes to mind. We'll see the real bracket title after you answer. All right, bitches. <laughs> Probably misspelled that one, but oh well. Let's see what this bracket is really about. Coolest name for a sports car. Yes, I won. I've won. I've won. Those predictions. Not so bad. All right. The predictions. Oh, that's pandering. We we can definitely see. Well, you just don't vote for pandering. It's easy. Yeah, yeah. This matchup was bad. What? A car. I think the ham. I want to drive the ham. I want to go to drive the ham. I want to go to ham it up. Dodge ham. Ham up the ham. The the not not the not the fuckulies. Ah, dude. Sophisticated. Damn it! All right, I was wrong. Fuckulies didn't take it. You could do it forward and backwards. It could be ma ham. The mayhem. <laughs> Moving on to our next matchup. I can't believe I'm seeing this. <laughs> yeah, come on, that's easy. I want to drive the Thor. Yeah, all right, I'll give that one. Dear, <laughs> the four of Thor's nephew. Lightning shooting at my ass. <laughs> No. <laughs> don't, don't you, wouldn't you rather drive the Ford Fuckulies instead? Oh man, I want to drive the Deep. I oh, lost that dude, one, so. But I really want to ham it up in the hand. Come on. Let's see what's happening over on the other side of the bracket. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> if that, that was Quizzicottle, will you try to spell there? That's... Quizzicottle. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, isn't about wow. the misspelling yeah. anymore. <laughs> it's from a boutique manufacturer. <laughs> Don't give them too much. Yeah. <laughs> Illiterate automotives. <laughs> yeah. Incontinentia. Incontinentia buttocks. Incontinentia buttocks. Incontinence. Motors. Ah, uh, there's uh, Inconsequentia, oh the goddess of side quests. Oh, okay, here we go. We actually got some good ones. Um, okay, the, the Lotus the Medusa. Car, so. Or the sad one. Medusa? <laughs> Anyone who looks at it turns to stone. Yay! It's a great car to drive while stoned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fumes alone will get you stoned. Before we get on to round two, it's time to make another prediction. Huh? Oh, boy. Uh. Aha! I don't know. Aha! I don't know if it's gonna be safe to stick with the, the mayhem. <laughs> oh, I'd the, say the, that's the 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 hammond. That's a one very the small cat. Are in. Oh. Here. Let's jump here. back to our bracket for round two. It's French for ham world. Ah. Damn it, I want the ham Poseidon. Yeah, I like the Poseidon. <laughs> ham Poseidon? Ham ham? The Ham Poseidon. That's, that, that's like the car full name there, man. The Mayhem <laughs> Poseidon. The Poseidon Ham. That win was so big you could hear it the, the next amateur radio over. car. Great, <laughs> great. <laughs> Damn, uh, Mr. Mr. Lug, not winning these predictions. Mr. So if you want to drive it, you need a ham license. <laughs> <laughs> license to ham. I mean, to be fair, when most people buy fancy cars, it, they're basically saying yeah. it's their biggest dickus. 
That's exactly what went through my head. Can't upset the making. <laughs> Oh, come on, biggest ticket. Oh, excuse yeah. me. The BD. Woohoo. <laughs> I would just need the blind. Jill's not a fan of biggest stickers. No. <laughs> it's a sports car, right? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, it's, it's a pork show. <laughs> it's a pork show. Pork show. Come on, come on, biggest, biggest. Yes. The mofo has won. <laughs> Let's go back to that scoreboard. Uh, where am I at? It's the Mazda biggest dickus. Oh! Ooh. 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 <laughs> yeah. Sir, I'm baiting Pedro, so that's a good thing. It's all been leading up to this. Time uh -oh. for the triple blind right. bracket. Here we go. This bracket will change every single round. Bring it. Let's start with a category. Describe any emoji. Oh my god! Oh god! I don't use them, so how the hell am I supposed to know this? Screw it. Alright. See, by this round, everyone <laughs> knows that. Oh, it's gonna fuck with me. Alright, so let's pick yep. up something. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely! <laughs> oh, that's Scott! I think Scotty. Scott's lost. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Best emoji to receive from a grand. It wouldn't take my first two. To get oh my god! <laughs> Best emoji to receive from the grand. <laughs> uh, I can't go up against that. Yeah, come on, him. party. It's go time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god damn it. Cream corn? <laughs> no, no, no. How would you even do I guess cream, cream corn would be an emoji. Cream corn. <laughs> so, Why? Well, sweat I sweat and corn. Cream corn emoji. I mean, it's the only corn that you can have with a straw. Oh, I lost that one big one. You know, a crazy oh, yeah. straw with your cream corn. Mm. Nice and chuggy. I haven't had cream corn in years. Next up. Yuck. Yuck. I don't like the stuff, but Steven loves it. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> yummy. All right, Grandma. Sure. All right. <laughs> Thumbs up is an so actual yummy. emoji. <laughs> I'm just going to go like, straight down the line with like the, any emojis. Well, yum is the emoji, story. but I, I, it's, it's actually... Um, oh, that's a yummy it, face? Mm. Yes. <laughs> Let's see what, what tensions are, are mounting over in the Omega Conference. Oh. I want to believe. <laughs> oh, that, come on. Early favorite emerges. Yeah, it does. <laughs> like I said, I can't <laughs> possibly go up against that. Where is that in the code? I don't know. <laughs> maybe one of the Egyptian hieroglyphs, maybe? Is there an Egyptian hieroglyph for Goatsy? <laughs> That's kind of the same thing, game. Um, <laughs> Scott. Yes, yeah, Scott. The Steve, meeting Steve, is Steve, basically Steve, the same know, thing. <laughs> have your freshly squeezed cream corn. Don't, don't wait till it gets cold. Oh, we've got Egg someone plant. in the audience playing. So Eggplant's a universal Egg. emoji. Yeah. I can yeah, convey many a sentiment. Title change. Most effective it was one of the ones I chose. Warning, danger, <laughs> 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 oh, are you kidding? Oh, God. That, that's a given. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't specify if I want this person to survive. <laughs> Oh, yummy, 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 yummy. <laughs> yummy, 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 yummy
That's Yummy. Warning, cream, warning. <laughs> warning, cream corn. Yum. Warning, cream corn ahead. Warning ahead. Big thing that will eat you. Next oh. week, warning, oh, cream corn stickers. Oh. Available at store.linuxamcast.com. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I am throwing this round. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the finals Green are just Gordon a win versus. away from these next two answers. Well, I mean, that, that's like saying something uh. twice, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's the receptacle and the givicle. <laughs> the givicle. The givicle. The givicle. I got nothing to do Givicle shirts <laughs> available next week. Start out the next game, gas.com. Some givicle, some take. How can you take a tavicle? That's what I'm doing. Take a call. Yeah. Tavicle. Tentacle. Okay. One All right. Switcheroo. All right. Best logo to put on a sign for a great yes. spoon diner. Oh. Yes. Oh. And now the definitive matchup. I mean, it's a vote between Ven and Jordan, so... Yeah. <laughs> Pick your poison. Overwhelming support already. I mean, one one could be the other. Give it it's time. true. Uh, this was like a big some... win. <laughs> well done, Jordan. Well done. Uh, Yay. I got burned. Yeah, yeah I got burned. But who walked away with the top score? Goatsy did. <laughs> yeah. Top score. Three, two, so two. So we walked one. way on top. Oh! oh LGC oh, oh, domination! Damn. And I went down to fourth in the spite of one round. Yep. Like motherfucking bosses. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Yeah. Well done. A bunch of punks. I'm Dude, proud. I mean, call them, call them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good for Vin. What? <laughs> Goatsy. Goatsy is good for Vin. Yeah, that ain't fucking win. Yeah. Fucking win. <laughs> I was third place last. <laughs> I was in the top three. That's like the first time that's ever happened to me. Pedro, you're accustomed oh, to pity fucks. Quit acting surprised. <laughs> <laughs> the moral of the story is if you're taking a test, the answer is always goat soup. Mm. <laughs> GG. No read. Aw. Aw. It's an eggplant that dies. Yeah, don't. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. <laughs> If, if you if you really want to fuck up your shoulders, then do behind the neck presses. Otherwise, yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh boy. I I, I'm deciding what to do. <laughs> All right. What's another one, Jordan? Another Jackbox. Mm -hmm. They have that. Um, they have the dating one. What's the other ones they have in four? Uh, we have bracketeering on this one, civic. I have all of them, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. How about Fibbage? That's a good one, too. Fibba oh, Fibba Fibbaggy? All yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Fibbaggy. Fibbaggy is pretty fun. Fibbaggy. That's two day players. Yeah. Yeah. Fibbaggy. on a box. <laughs> what's, what's the French word for box? What? What? <laughs> Zob? No. <laughs> what? Fair enough. Oh, I actually was thinking about this earlier, Jill. Which hand do you do the Vulcan sign with? What is the correct one? Left or right? You're supposed to do it with both. And yeah, then wear a talus over your both. head and dance around the <laughs> Torah. Let's see how many people don't get it. <laughs> but, um,. You, you can do it with both, but usually it, it, most people do it in the right because <laughs> they're right-handed. Oh, <laughs> but um, there, occasionally you'll see it on left, too. Oh, so. I can't do it either. Or just do both at the same time. Okay, I'm in, so I'm going to go uh, yeah. get beer. <laughs> well, I've got one right here, but you're welcome to bring me another. <laughs>
Yeah, but Pedro drinks real beer. What are you talking about? Okay, so Vin changed the channel on me. Good. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, he oh. does that. <laughs> yeah, you gotta pay attention, man. Yeah, it's cleverly disguised. I was talking with Ashley. <laughs> Ben used to do that, like How, in the yeah. foo bar. He'd go back and forth. Scott, and just, real winners don't listen to their girlfriends. Jesus. They just play Jackbox with pe randos on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> I swear that fall, is the most. Falls apart. Like, hey, are account. you paying attention? Uh, no, but give me a second. I'll come up with an excuse. Okay. Okay. Everybody's okay. in. Uh, yeah, well, okay, sure. Well, yeah, you better be, because there's no room left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you minus a meow. What do you think? Oh. Oh. Alright. It'll be fine. Alright, let's lie to people. So, we're gonna do another Linux Gamecast weekly? Day. Pretty much. Welcome to Fibbage. I'm your host, Cookie Masterson. Now with 20% more back hair. Call the press, it's Don't a full get jelly, game. Jordan. Oh, and if anybody else wants to join, <laughs> okay, you can get in the audience at any oh, time. Look, I have the most audience of everyone. members get to guess the truth. I love how this thing just like systematically just players. nails like um room placement. I'm like, there's where it's not. I don't know what I just moved. <laughs> this is round one. You'll get uh, 500 points for everyone you fool. And you'll net a thousand for finding the truth. Alright. Time All right, John. What do we got? Pick, All right. Baby, pick. Taxable shelters, baby. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. First question. He's got a carrot. Pop icon the... John Bon Jovi avoided paying hefty taxes on his New Jersey mansion by having blank on his property. Now, use your device to enter a bluff that might just fool your fellow players into thinking it's the truth. If you can't come up with something, use the lie for me button and get a suggestion for half the points. Imagine having a, Do it already. Like... A mansion in Jersey? Well, he's from Jersey, isn't he? That's beside the point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up! Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. <laughs> There we go. Okay, these are your choices. Pick the truth on your device now. <laughs> I see a theme. <laughs> Can we combine? Because I, I want to live in a world where there's Mormon bees. Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to say that. Door to door bees. <laughs> well, if it was in the south, yes, a church might. Let's they're they're just like, hey, have we told did. you about our Lord? Just fucking, we're bees. Sting, sing, sing, sing. <laughs> <laughs> no llama. No llama drama. No llama, llama drama. Uh, nice, Arthur. Uh, uh, <laughs> you got some goats, uh, Jill? Uh, <laughs> goats? Hey, points. Hey, you got Yay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I figured that's a reasonable one. Bald Eagles. Hey! Oh, damn it. Oh, no, damn it. What is it? Believe it or not, nice I knew it! I knew it! Well, it bees. was bees! Oh, wow. Not the oh, bees. Right. Right. <laughs> Fucking Mormon bees. <laughs> Mormon bees. <laughs> Oh, I've right. got no likes for the uh, voice idea. Hey, one third button. place. <laughs> rating. I'll, I'll, rating I'll, I'll, I'll take a pity fuck. Third. <laughs> okay, really? I'm looking. This 1907 illustration from Austria is entitled Trip to Blank. Type in your lies now. Okay. All right. Hurry, use the life from trip on acid. Yeah. <laughs> but you gotta have a the horse muscle. To it's a MDMA. BB. All right, where's the truth? <laughs> oh. 
Uh, I don't know. Do Why should it be something so goddamn simple? Let's see how things shook out. Yeah. All right. Oh, hey. oh <laughs> the <God>. audience lies. <laughs> oh, God damn it. No. Ah, uh, uh, Theron. <laughs> Yay, our Theron. What? Really? Ah. Damn it. Ah. Ah. Atlantis? Oh, I actually got someone with that. Well done. <laughs> well done. Atlantis. Oh. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, <laughs> <on, Jill. laughs> Oh, oh, Angel. Oh. Oh. Oh, in okay. interesting. That was, that was cool, mess. Jordan, huh? Damn it. Uh, a spa. A spa. A seahorse. A muzzled yeah, bee baby. Muzzled bee baby. Sure. Right. Hey. I don't want to know they're no. doing a spa. Damn it. Hey, I got a lock for right here. <laughs> okay, pick a category. Too much Come money. Uh, Coolness. A <laughs> bad guess. Oh. <laughs> Vienna elephants. Vienna elephants. <laughs> All right. That's what they make Once the sausages year, out of, right? Elephants in Vienna Zoo are allowed to eat blank. Answer your lies now. Duh. I don't even. Ew. Now that I think about it, that's not going to work at all. But hey, it's too late. <laughs> Vienna, Vienna, Vienna. Oh, okay, that's gonna be nice. Or just hit the lie for me button. <laughs> so my initial thought would not have worked if it's in Vienna. <laughs> okay, which one's the truth? Who <laughs> put egg pants there? <laughs> oh man, like traditional Vienna Christmas trees? Oh god, no, those. Oh! You know what? I'm yeah, just gonna throw that in there as like a Hail Mary and see if we get it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's that. see what you guys picked. <laughs> yes! Fuck yes. <laughs> <Foxy>. Strike one! <laughs> <laughs> Undercounted. Banana is not spelled no. correctly. <laughs> Oh, I did spell it wrong. Yeah. Damn it! <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> yes, we have no Come bananas. On. There it is. We yes! have no bananas today. <laughs> when it leaves their body, it looks like a wreath. Right. Cool. Right. No one picks sausage. I'm sad. <laughs> we have. Two we takes for uh, sausage. Vienna no sausages. <laughs> All right. Oh. I'm still I'll number one. Else. Jill oh, is a treacherous here. little liar. Oh, <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, choose a category. Uh, well, I know Bender's not an honorary globetrotter. Space. <laughs> so we got space. Globella is the term for describing the space between blank. All right, type in your lies. <laughs> Write something quick or use the lie for me button. Will it let right on out there and out there and come on out there. I can hear Scott furiously Googling right now. Yeah. <laughs> I was dead or melee. Oh, I'm clicking the wrong thing, damn it. Um, there. I'm gonna go that. Side of argument. Because I have <laughs> no idea. Alright, who picked what? <laughs> Taunt Damn it! <laughs> oh. <laughs> really? Uh, Shit! Well done, Jill. Well done. Linux well GI. Nope. Nope. Nebulae. 
Ah, thank ah, you. Ah. That was my initial one. Fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, oh, Scott, Googled, Scott Googled it, called it. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> On that one. Womp womp. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, unaccounted uh, fuck. Um, Count. Hey, oh. <laughs> <Man appreciation. laughs> Something we know nothing about. held a really odd promotional night for fans in 2016. Their players wore jerseys with pictures of blank on them. Oh, that, here comes the pandering. <laughs> Hang on, what is it? What is the question? Um, where the hell is that? The L tuna. <laughs> Don't Google it, unlike Scott. Seriously, no, googling. Shit. <laughs> I'm too slow to Google that. <laughs> I, I like how Scott's not denying this either. Yeah, he's yeah. conspicuously <laughs> so. He's like, I'm just gonna win by any means necessary, you guys. Okay, that's how I would. That's how I play. <laughs> Again, I see a theme here. <laughs> <laughs> yep, George R. Bates. Look at that. Look at that. Watch that be the actual truth. God damn it, probably. <laughs> 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 that would piss me off There's sufficiently, so it probably is. Alright, but... let's see what everybody picked. <laughs> God damn it, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. <laughs> oh, well done. Oh, oh, good one, one Arthur. <laughs> Yoink. Ben Mint. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have picked that. None of us would have put that there. Well played, game. Well, also, PS, <laughs> fuck you. Well, yeah, also go fuck yourself. <laughs> Pope Inc. Fine dining. Fine, fine dining. All right, here it is. <laughs> that was inspired thing. by a surreal 1960s movie, Russian restaurateur Alexei Kodorovsky opened a bar staffed entirely by blank. Okay, enter your lies. <clears throat> oh, 60s. Mm. It could be oranges and it will still be right. All right. If anyone says Barbarella, right, you're cheating. <laughs> How do you spell Barbarella? Okay, uh, find the truth. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I can see a couple of those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would uh, straight up try to staff a restaurant with pickles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, screw it. I'm going pickles. Pickle Ricks. I'm losing any house with fuck it. <laughs> I don't even I know anymore, dude. What do you think for like real children? I'm nope. getting twins, but I chose that prop <laughs> I'm thinking French mines. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh. Nope. Thank you, Scott. Oh, Pedro. <laughs> I figured out wrong. I'm getting his twins. This seems too good. Damn Get it. God! No. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> Jordan! They definitely are a thing. There it is. Oh, there we go. Oh. Ah. Twin tax. Twinsies! <laughs> Networking joke, but alright. <laughs> alright. Oh. Alright, um, all right. No, last place. Ahead. Okay, we've definitely right. beating, okay. beating Ven. Yeah. Beating Ven. That's the important thing. <laughs> It's the final fee beach. Pay attention, oh boy. this last one's worth triple points. This <laughs> round, everything's bullshit. All right, got it. Yeah. <laughs> Explorer Richard Thorns has made six trips to Myanmar looking for a blank with a blank. Type in your lies now. Richard Thomas. Okay. All 
Right. Give me some of them prickly torns, the Miramar. <laughs> Miramar's famous Mi- for Mi- one Mi- thing. Myanmar. Break dancing. Not, not being Burma anymore. I don't know. I had nothing for this. Hey. Hey. I don't know it's enough Burma. about Myanmar. Uh, so. Okay, take a look and find it's the Burma. truth. That one. <laughs> Lost his nipple. Alright. Oh my god, it's probably. <laughs> There's like three I would call absolute <laughs> bullshit on that's one of those. Dang it! fuck <laughs> 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 I, was, I was hoping that would secretly be the truth. Nope. Uh, oh, man. Oh, oh shit. Uh, <laughs> oh, nice. I figured. There it is. Yes. There it is. Huh. Uh, I, I, I was really hoping for a nickel he lost with the tour group in 2008. A nickel duck. <laughs> this is how you remind me with just dark noises. Look at this crap. Look at this duck. Yay. Yay. Not last place. Oh. Not last place. I failed in my mission. <laughs> not last place. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. is, I, I took one for the team. I, uh... <laughs> All right. I Played did better new than games in Party Pack <laughs> Six now. Uh. Yay! What is it for sale yet? Oh no, that's Party Pack Six. Yeah. I have seven. It. Yeah, it's seven that yeah. apparently is still in pre-orders. <laughs> Very no good, Art Theron. Do not pre-order any of the things ever. Wow, it was written by a guy named Ham. What? It just keeps <laughs> coming back to Ham. Yeah, Spencer Ham. What is <laughs> the, Ham. the 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 Fibbage script? It said in the credits. Oh, it just keeps coming back to Ham. Oh. Ham the monkey. Not Tina everything. Marvel yeah, waits for the follow <laughs> and multiply. <laughs> so I, I, I'm really digging the um. Is it in general just a reason? I like that. Look at that. Um, hang on. There we go. There's Alan. Look at Alan. <laughs> <laughs> Ter- <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> Alan sees you, man. I'm messing around. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows when you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. Is he stalking for stalky sake? Dude, Al- Alan will sneak into your house and slice your slice your throat, man. Oh, he doesn't uh, wear sneakers. He will slice your throat. He wears them for sneaking, but only slightly. Yeah. Can you wear he sneakers? I mean, if they're if, if if your shoes are made out of snake skin, I guess they're snackers. Would you wear no snake step on skin? snack? Nah, <laughs> I would. Fuck snakes. Snakes are great, man. Yeah, but I mean, there's plenty of them. Unless you're in Ireland. Then you got, like, decided <laughs> like snakes. <laughs> <laughs> snakes are against... Um... Leprechauns. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was gonna say booze. Um, they're, 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 like, all AAA members. <laughs> no, snakes and leprechauns, they don't like each other. That's why they don't... <laughs> I thought it was the Catholics that drove the snake out of Ireland. Sure. Jake, Patrick, Jake right? the Snake specifically. He just showed up one day. Yeah, and like, the Catholics are like, no, get out. <laughs> and it was that day that God gave snakes wings. Dude, <laughs> I, I can just imagine like Jake the Snake fucking coming out smoking a cigarette and the Pope was just like, no, you don't come here. It's my Pope voice. All right. 
<laughs> now we know what to watch out for. Like, no shit, he's using his Pope voice. He's serious. Come on. <laughs> no, when when when, when, you, when you hear a speech from the papacy and you hear, it's me, the Pope, you'll know, you'll know that I've made it. <laughs> Snake <Nicholas> again. <laughs> oh, man. That's the thing. That happened. Well, we got to play some yep. video games. Yep. Yeah. And it's, uh... <laughs> 30 after we're going to start winding this thing down in the after after shows and so twitch i want to thank each and every one of you showed up and hung out especially if you rode the fucking nightmare <laughs> train all. all the way through staying up late <laughs> yeah <laughs> pull into the station yeah, Arthurin. <laughs> Arthurin's the one staying up the latest i think yeah because uh he's one hour ahead of me so <laughs> hey man it's better than Christ rocking in a corner silently slightly Sometimes. Oh. <laughs> Listen, you know what? Unless you really enjoy. I'm, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Try, in a corner slightly. <laughs> try both. Just don't. Just don't take my word for it. I mean, you know, weigh weigh that shit out. Beautiful people. Um, we will see you. And the royal we being Pedro will be back uh, Tuesday doing something. Yes, there will be Fallout unless something else weird happens Random and I decide game, to play that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> And uh, Wednesday, we'll be back with Weekly Daily Wednesdays. And uh, Thursday, I think we're going to keep woofing on. We're, we're close. We just got to... Mm -hmm. It's just that one spot, man. Well, we, we have a very good pattern of... Like, once we get towards the end, uh, everyone just picks their own direction. Well, a, lo a lot of that is just <laughs> like, holy shit, there are enemies everywhere. I need to be at a place where there are no enemies so I can reload my gun. We each pick our own direction, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Friday, I think I'm going to break out some Mafia. I could get some right. use out of it. I, I want to get some use out of it, considering <laughs> I've downloaded the 40 kicks twice. <laughs> Proto G! <laughs> Dude, I, I caught myself. Like, what do you mean this is going to take seven minutes to download have you ever done that you're like you know what just no. shut the fuck up you seven <laughs> yeah. minutes to download 40 gigs <laughs> oh boo fucking who what right it, right it could yeah. take four <laughs> yeah like what anything beyond like 2017 then we're just like <laughs> speaking of getting slapped in the back of the head we'll see you next week beautiful people bye bye Bye. Hop in Discord Bye, if you want to Bye. hang out somebody. Thanks for joining us. Aw, <laughs> oh, right there. <laughs> <laughs>